You've got some explaining to do, Tiger. Trained from childhood as an Atlas assassin with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm gonna ask you a single question, and if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence. Insanity. And... A hero. Lost Legion hadn't ambushed Helio Station. Everything might have gone a different way. Hunter, 
and thank you for answering Hyperion's summons. Unfortunately, the Helium Space Station is currently under attack by insane dominatory forces. Please take this Echo device. Now follow me. I can take you to your contractor liaison. Me, Rocket. Randy could use some work, but A for effort. Sorry about the mess. Things got really hairy once the Lost Legion attacked. That, that's... Holy, holy crap! crap. You, you saved, saved my, my life. life. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Sorry. Heart's, Heart's pounding. Never, Never been shot at before. Kind of fun. Actually, look, these crazy bastards attacked Helio Station right after I sent it for you guys. If we can drive them off, we'll be free to go out to that vault on the moon's surface. All right, looks like you got a shield. Pretty self-explanatory, really. It leaves bullets until it depletes. When it does, you gotta hide and give it time to recharge. Just, hey, just let me activate the defense control. In a few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields, laser wires. These assholes won't know what hit them. Critical failure. Helios defense systems are being jammed. What? How? Jamming signal originates from Elvis and Doris. Well, crap. Kill the turrets! Kill the turrets! Alright, plan B. We can't take Helios back, we need to evacuate. Escape ships are this way. We must take this ground. Who's that woman? She leads these jackasses, I think? I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in the turbo mansion. Alright, let me get to this door. The escape ships are nearby. Hey, it's that 
Jackal, execute plan to shoot that chick in the head. Hello, Jack. I've never seen a creature like that. What was it? Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just, uh, one of the cloud trap units tried to wrench it the light socket, sir. Need I remind you that you are there to observe, Pandora? Nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally... Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sir, we're losing connection. connection. Uh, uh, what? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. My bad. We will speak again, John. There's Elpis. That friggin' jamming signal is somewhere down on that cracked rock messing up all the cool security stuff up here. What the hell are you attacking, you dicks? I want this station and I want to save the universe. The hell is that supposed to be? Got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moonshot cannon. Follow me. What's this moonshot cannon we're heading toward? Basically a huge gun that shoots supplies down to the moon's surface like at about a thousand miles an hour. We're gonna get in one of those containers and escape that way. Will we survive that? Huh? They're at the moonshot cannon! Move in! <gasps> I had suspicions. Money, revenge. That said, whoever needed a reason out here. Kill the birdie guy! Kill the birdie guy! 
over so easily. I need more soldiers. Badasses. Like you. Anyone need help? Woo! We Woo! made it. We made it. Right, we just gotta get we into a moonshot moon container. Moon Freedom for oh. Imperium <laughs> shall not <laughs> after we <laughs> Right, that's twice you've saved my life. Uh, now we just gotta. Oh, for what? The the auto shock controls are damaged. Someone's gotta stay back and launch the pods manually. I'd suggest Athena, but I need John Elpis. You're the only person that I can trust to save the space station. Roger, I'll find a way to save Helios. You won't have died in vain, if you die. All, All right. right, new plan. I'll stay, I'll behind. stay behind. I need you, I need down, you down on the moon. You gotta, you gotta find that jamming, jamming signal and shut it down. Shut it down. Otherwise, Otherwise, we'll, we'll never get control of the, of the moon base, base and we can kiss that vault goodbye. goodbye. You're really staying? You'll likely die. Now you, yeah, you saved, saved my life a couple of times. I'm repaying the favor. Besides, I'm a hero, baby. Self-sacrifice is part of the job. Oh, good, a health machine. I had one put in here after a worker had an accident and lost his torso. Better heal up before your trip down to the moon. Might want to grab some ammo, too. Supplies over here. But we need to get a moonshot container up here. Normally, we'd load some supplies, but this time, you're the cargo. <laughs> okay, this container ought to do the trick. Stayed behind to eject the pod, I might well have died on Helios. <laughs> Your story is making handsome Jack kind of sympathetic. 
I hate you. All right, we're ready to fire. Whenever you're ready, I'll shoot you to Concordia. It's the biggest town on Elpis. I know someone there who can help you find that jamming signal. There he is! Open fire! Oh, crap. differential gets too harsh. So, here's my plan. When you're ready, open the door and follow me to my oxygen bubble. Sound good? Don't answer. Conserve your oxygen. Nice to meet ya. I'm Janie Springs, junk dealer. Who are you? I'm Athena. Well, hello. So what are you doing here? We need to get back to Helios Station, but we can't until we take down a jamming signal somewhere on this moon. A jamming, a jamming signal? signal? Haven't, noticed Haven't noticed anything like that. Anything like that. You might want to get to Concordia. Concordia. Little, little city run by a fella called the Merif. Gotta be somebody there who can help you. You'll need, You'll need an, an O2 kit, Oz kits we call them, to survive, to survive the, journey, the journey though. I've got, I've got some broken ones stashed, stashed nearby, but I can repair them for you. Even, Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. Head to these coordinates and clear the place out. That building used to be in one piece and not lava adjacent. Till the crackening anyway. Defensive posture! Oh, I forgot I locked it. Oops. Just punch off the locks with your meat punks. That's moon for hands. Slamming enemies. 
To repay me for saving your life, you're going to end someone else's. His name's Deadlift. He's nearby and he's an asshole. He's also got something I'll need to get us into Concordia. You cleared the place out? I'm coming down. Just bring the broken Oz kit to me and I'll repair it for you. Deadlift leads a band of scavengers, scavs, who used to raid the old Dahl dig site. Colonel Zarpadon imprisoned them, but they escaped when Dahl's digging cracked the moon. Zarpadon. Anyway, he's got the Digistruct key for my Zoomy stations. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my week. Win-win! I need you to help me make some inspirational posters. I'm what? sorry? Did my accent throw you off? I meant to say... I need y'all to help me fix up some inspirational posters, y'all. Donuts, cowboys, homophobia. They sell like hotcakes on the black market, and I've already run out of kitten posters. Head to one of my jump pads. If you need to find me, I'll be back at my camp. cameras at the apex of your jump. I just need you to get airborne and say something inspirational. Uh... Sorry. Say something inspirational, y'all. Yes! Uh, the sky's the limit? Or something? Alright, All right. Cool. cool. This time, I'll throw up a couple of targets. Try to shoot them before you land and we'll make for an even better poster. And say something inspirational again. Um, always hit what you aim at? Good, good. Now, big finale time. Get into the air, then slam down on that pressure pad by crouching. Then say something cool and look as badass as possible. <gasps> Athena out. 50%. All right, that was cool. Now turn on the printer and it should spit out your posters. Hey. Atmosphere. <gasps> Lovely stuff. Come on back. I need a new spanner. There was no oh, film in the cameras. cameras. Deadlift, Deadlift, that guy, that guy asked, you asked you to kill, just ordered, just a, ordered bunch a bunch of inspirational, inspirational posters. posters. I have motivational issues. Head to his ships and put them, put them up, everywhere. up everywhere. Here, Here take, take the posters, the posters and the delivery, delivery confirmation. So, why is this deadlift guy gonna die? He's, he's kind, kind of a dick. <laughs> Alright. Well, he also stole my moon zoom digistruct key, stranded me out here and got really rude when I told him I wasn't into guys. But mainly the being a dick thing. Pulse Hunter, this is Colonel Zarpadon. <laughs> you must leave Elpis. Things are about to get much worse. I don't want to kill you if I don't have to. Nah, got paid to kill you. Gotta do it. Fine. Do what you will. Deadlift, this is- Hey! Get that, sir! I ain't taking orders from the chick who threw me in prison. They said your jump pads are stupid. I will annihilate them! Once upon a time, there was this moon. Then some military dudes came and started mining. They delved all deep and greedy and crap. Moon cracked open, people died, no one lived happily ever after. Finn, what do you think? Not enough plant. I'll take it under advisement. I think there might be another one in my old camp. It got overrun by a crab and it's killed my... They killed her. named Flamey, who jumped out of the crack and bit Janie. She blew off its face, now there's no trace of the Kraken who dared such cockamamie. Well? Dark, yet satisfying rhyme scheme. Fair enough. Good feedback. Oh, that reminds me though, Flamey's son owes me a life and he's still out there. Track him down and get it from me, yeah? That's 
great set got big. Kill it. and thought they must be food. So Baby Kragen and his mum raided the camp. Flamey tore a two-legger up pretty bad and Baby Kragen killed another one. Then Baby Kragen ran away like a little stupid piece of shit. That one must be corrupted or something, I don't know. Bring those back while I write another one about how you killed an evil fire monster. Please, do not. Nothing like a good sale. Do I spy mercenaries approaching the ship? I will soar into the air and crush you with a butt slam. Time for a package. I would be delighted. Great. Now give him the package. Thanks. Now get out of my sight. He's got the package? Cool. Now kill him. Guy's an asshole. What is this? An awesome. Now you just have to put the posters up all around the ship. Deadlift men will try to kill you the entire time. <laughs> Nick uses that jump pad as his front door. You might want to do the same. I disabled the jump pad! Forgive me, jump pad! I'm dead with Better head up to that geothermal substation, see what the damage is.
That picture's not bad at all. Just two more and you're done. I'm incredibly happy that you're doing this for me. If that's not clear... I have to admit, I look pretty cool. Let's put up one last poster and you're all done. Brother, uncle. Oh, no. I overexposed the last set of pictures, so I used a cat photo instead. People like cats. Anyway, come on back. Got an idea though. You could be the fuse. Sorry? If you complete the circuit between those two live wires, it should reactivate the jump pad. Just stand between the two sparky bits. That sounds unsafe. Yep, gonna hurt lots. Right, now just go kill the guy so you can get to Concordia. Why are those Hyperion screwbags still alive? <laughs> Jamming signal. Those vaults are confused! Nice vault of the new! Hey, what the fuck's that? Got your back, Wilhelm. Fine! Challenge? It's me, they called it that. Testament of Tom Thorson, doll captain. Deadlift scavs are boarding my ship as I speak. Whoever finds this echo, please, find it in your heart to honor a doomed man's last wishes. Just press the next message button when you're ready. Of course. Thanks. First off, I need you to inform Colonel Zarpadon of my death. Plug this echo recorder into a transmitter and convey the message. Thank <laughs> you. 
informing you of Captain Thorson's fate, Vault Hunter. Though you will not have my mercy, you do have my respect. Once you've told the Colonel of my death, I'd like you to avenge me. It looks like Squad, Deadlift's Lieutenant, is boarding my ship right now. If you could track him down and kill him, I'd appreciate it. Race and race! Captain Thorson says you're a dick. No! That's that. Sorry I can't give you a reward, but, you know, I'm dead. Still, thanks. Vault Hunter, I want to thank you for fulfilling Captain Thorson's last wishes. Head to the following coordinates. this weapon stash months ago. You can have them until I take them back. so I gotta go radio silent. Find the jamming signal, shut it down, and return to Helios. Athena, did you really take down the entire Atlas Corporation? I had help. Wonder where they are now. Good, Good to, to see ya! Here, Here take, take this. this. It's, it's an Orbitron. Orbitron. It'll get you into Concordia. I had a cat. It died. it died. Done and dusted. Alright, just jump that crap with your vehicle and you'll be well on your way to Concordia. Once you get there, you should be able to find your jamming signal. Or whatever you said. I'll meet you there later. Oh, and Athena? You're real pretty. Just throwing that out. I'm, uh... Uh, thank, thank you. you. I need a spanner. There's something... Know much about lasers? There's a light reactor stuck in a building nearby that I can sell for a good chunk of moonstones. If you get it for me, I can give you one of my spare laser weapons. I just gave you a prod gun. You'll need to piss off some Kragans with it. My new best friend! I'm from the Toy Corporation, and I'm super duper pissed that laser guns exist! They're made of light, which doesn't even explode like... what? I'll pay you to destroy that light reactor when you find it! Seems excessive. And I like... Unfortunately, I forgot the combo to my safe, so you're just gonna have to open it up the fun way. That shield will be your lockpick. Safe. Silly me. 
They appeared after Dale started mining the planet and one of them nearly killed me a couple of months ago. Extra... All oh, right. That's why I gave you the prod gun. Blast the Kragans with it. They'll get angry and charge you. If you can lure them into the rubbish, they'll smash an opening for you. Four steps. Can't believe I forgot that. Welcome to Concordia, a crowd poll if I ever saw one. Find a guy named Huckster. He's ex-Hyperion. Runs the town. Okay, that's far enough, Buster. Just give him the... Entry papers and make it snappy. Chop, chop. Are you f***ing serious? You are in violation of the verbal space morality statute. You just got a ticket. What the f***? Oh, he just got another. I love rules. Follow me or you'll get a third ticket. City, son. Obey my commands. Go stand on Deacon Domination Pad. Do not move when Beam comes. You move! Ah, come into clinics, Hilly Lapushka. I nurse Nina. When you need medicine, you come see. Only a serious though. Nurse Nina hate big babies. 
Unless they're real babies. <laughs> Nurse Nina loved them. You hurt. you hurt. Here, take. Good, you, you better. better. When, when hurt, hurt again, can you use vending machine to buy heels? You healthy, go! So, Huckster, the guy you need to find, calls himself Marif. Like, Mayor mixed with Shara is stupid, whatever. But he might know how to track down the signal. This guy's still pulling down a fat retirement plan from Hyperion, from my division. I'm basically his boss. He's pretty much on the team already. Hey! <coughs> Visitors from Helios. Uh, so... Here's the thing. Uh, uh, no visitors today. Whoa! You were one of us, you stupid named son of a bastard! Thank you for visiting the offices of the Merith. We hope you enjoyed your bureaucratic interactions. I guess there is one other person who can help us, unfortunately. Head to the up over bar. Where the hell's Mox? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, you see those two on the dance floor? The tattoo chick and the guy allergic to smiling? Oh, they're ex-Vault Hunters. Go see if they'll help. <laughs> oh, finally. Lady Luck flips a frickin' face card. Hello again. Hyperion are losing Helios to Dahl. We need to stop the signal it's jamming its systems. Hyperion, Dahl, is there a difference? We're on vacation. Together. Yeah, sorry, but we're out of the vault hunting game. Too many tentacles. What's that mean? Go talk to Moxie, damn it! Looking for me, sugar? <laughs> Hello again, Moxie. Jack sent me. Hey, Athena. Haven't seen you since all that business with Knox. Looking good. So, Jack sent you, huh? Must have bothered him something awful. No worries, though. It's all in the past. What does he need? Doll soldiers took down Helios's defenses with a jamming signal. We need to find that signal and shut it down. You want to find a signal? Then you gotta put transmitters on the echo towers around town. Get up high. Simple triangulation. They'll find the source, then you can shut it down. Thing is, I don't have any transmitters here, but that's fixable. First, I need you to pick up some moonstones mistakenly confiscated by the customs claptrap. Head over there and I'll update your echo. Trust me, it'll make sense. Moxie tells me you're here for her moonstones. I'm pretty sure I store them at the bank. You can pick them up from there. I'm not a big fan of the bank. Still, it serves its purpose. You can use it to stash things you don't feel like carrying around. Oh, that's right. I actually put the moonstones in the stash, not the bank. Uh, you can have the gun. The owner doesn't need it. The stash, huh? That's where you can store items you want to swap between other characters. Not sure why you put the moonstones there. ticket himself for stupidity. Pick up the moonstones and take them. Show the moonstones to the guy there and you'll get what you need. No, I put it I ordered a bunch of transmitters a while back, but I've been kind of avoiding this place. That Janie Springs keeps trying to use it as a place to accidentally run into me. What you want, transmitters? I'll throw them in if you take some of this other trash off my hands. What? Don't be wasting my time. Yeah, Crazy Earl gets around, and he's a useful guy to know. Bring him moonstones and he'll get what you need. What you want? <laughs> Love that guy. I'll hit your echo with the cohorts for the towers and manage things from here. When you get the first transmitter in place, I'll make contact. You need to get above Spring's Emporium O Stuff. She's out of town, so she won't be around to help. And so we're clear. Tell Jack once this is done, we're all square. So, I've got a connection, but it's not very stable. You mind giving it a whack for me? That's better. Give me a sec to get everything set up on this end. I, I don't understand, but, but she picked them up. Didn't come in person. 
and sent someone. I'm just letting you know because you said to if anybody ever swung by for him. And she didn't mention me at all? Yeah, so you see what I mean about that girl? The signal, it's not coming from Concordia. Coords for the next tower on your echo. Perfect. She's working now. Let's get her calibrated. I just gotta mess with some dials back here. Transmitter, something's not working. Let's try rebooting it. There we go. There's a tower above the Marif's office. Try getting up there. Warning, trespassing on government property will result in your immediate death. Thank you. Oh yeah, should have mentioned the turrets. You'll need to destroy them. Yeah, so looks like a bullet or two damaged the relay drive gearbox. Sift through those turrets, see if you can find a replacement. Uh, just, it's a thing that makes the transmitter work again. Small black box. Score! Uh, give me time to just... Dork, you really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stressed old kind of right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. Oh, gross. I make it very clear to all my patrons, Serena is not for... I'll deal with our Marif later. Okay, everything looks set up. Head up to the control panel I've marked on your Echo. Activate it so I can initiate the final scan to pinpoint the signal's origin. The signal's coming from... Crisis Scar. That's an old doll comms facility. Been nothing but scabs there for years. Well, looks like it's working again. Go shut it down. Uh, also, status updates still getting shot at. So if you wanted to hurry, that'd be cool. Attention, uh, citizens of Concordia. Until further notice, for your own protection, the town is in lockdown. No one in or out. That is all. Okay? Oh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? This is so frustrating! Get back to Moxie. She's got secret exits everywhere. <laughs> Classic. Hey, Wilhelm, you want to come to the moon and hunt a vault for me? No. I'll pay you a couple million dollars. Okay. Yep, that's my best story. Hey, whoa, what are you doing? Hmm. What are you doing in here? Sorry. Damn it, I really don't like people seeing me out of character. The hell do you want? The Marif locked down the town. Do you know any other ways out of Concordia? I know a way out, but I ain't... <clears throat> won't show it to you unless you promise not to tell anyone what you saw here. Um, I promise? Great, because if you spilled, my son would have to bury you alive in a shallow grave. That's the way out of here. Hope you find that signal and remember, shallow grave. Sorry, people of Elpis. This is the only way. Whoa, how did they know about... Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. What just happened? The whole ruddy moon shook. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, not good. Sarpedon's troops have taken control of the Eye of Helios. Uh, it's a big freaking laser in the heart of the space station. She's targeting the moon's core. Try not to panic, but uh, she's trying to blow up Alpis. Front sources notified us of some indigenous creatures known only as cuties. You know, I never heard of them, but they sound divine, and their natural habitat is being wrecked by horrible corporate sludge. We need to put a stop to the pollution, and time's running out. This used to be a Dal refinery, before the Krakening. Naturally, this being Elpis, some filthy scavengers have moved in. Show them no mercy. <laughs> once more. And if I've learned anything, it's that nature always wins. Come back and I'll pay you for your valuable work. Thank you. 
to get inside. Oh, <laughs> 
You have proven yourself worthy, and your initiation is nearly complete. I've updated your echo with the location of, uh, uh, another entrance. What's wrong with this gate? Ah, the thing is, is I was fiddling with the controls and got something stuck in them, so the door's not working right now. But you can still get through the side door. Just give them the password. R. I saw it here. A noble yet dangerous robot. Alone. Mysterious. Desperate to be loved. one thing, but there are innocent people on Alpis, you asshole! Yes, there are. Okay, this chick's a nutbag. You gotta hurry. We gotta get to Helios and take back control of the Eye, but we can't do that until you find out where in Crisis Scar that signal originates and shut her down. Okay, this chick's a nutbag. Hi. So, my best mate in the whole wide world's gone missing, and I could really use some help finding him. I think it was him. Unless it was a who. No, no, it was definitely him. I can't remember her name though. No. Used to follow the jolly swag man. He was always such a happy bloke. Always had a smile and a song for everyone. Terrible singer he was. Ah, he's bleak. She was always going walking about across the moon. She came back raving about some crazy thing or other. I can't tell you where he was lying. He owes me a drink. His sleep is not with the living. Right. Well, see if he left tonight. Check her pockets, will ya? Hey, she left an echo. Maybe that'll tell us more about the sorry tale. What do you reckon? Oh, the things I've seen. I've gone walkabout all the way to Barago's solitude. I've seen an enormous giant billabong. A giant empty billabong with bright purple light shooting out of it. 
and I heard the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it. I camped by it, and I sang as I watched as my billy boiled. Then up leapt the jumbuck. I grabbed him with glee, and I shoved him in me tucker bag. But then I returned from the distant land, and I went, and I lost it camped not far from here. Blasted crags attacked me. Go find it, Peapot. Then you'll know I speak the truth. Check your echo. I'm plumb tuckered out. Reckon I might die now. Uh, not so jolly now, is he? Sounds like you got moonstroke, poor beggar. He didn't know what he was saying, just wandering around for days, losing his mind. I never heard of an empty billabong, and I definitely never heard of no jumbuck. A sad way for him to go, still owing me a drink. I expect she'll get over it. Wonder where that tucker bag is. Then, have a look around, see if you can find it. There it is, that jumbuck. Poor, oh, raving lunatic. He never should have gone as far as Virago Solitude. No one ever comes back from there without being a few slices short of a life. I'd never bloody go. It's a tucker bag. She says there's a jumbuck inside. <laughs> they don't even exist. Oh, oh it, it's a jumbuck. They do exist. I think it thinks I'm his mum. It's an idiot. I look nothing like it. Do you think that means there's really a billabong somewhere out there too? A giant empty billabong with bright purple light sitting out of it with the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it? <laughs> Thanks for the help, though. Unless there is a giant purple hole with light shooting out of it. You reckon the little fella wants a drink? Oh, it's fun being beside a 
I'm all for once. It's better, really. This way you get paid for shooting people. <laughs> yeah, the blokes are pretty excited about letting rip on anyone who shows up. <laughs> oh, did I leave behind the Queen of Greaves my suit of armor? The what and the what? The bits for the legs. Too late, mate. But no one's going to shoot you there. <laughs> oh, I hope you're right, mate.
busted. Head up to the roof. There should be a maintenance console there. Activate it. Destroy each of the relays. That'll shut down the freaking signal. Just went down. Who the hell is that? Sounds like the Merith. Wait a minute, you aren't red or Billy. Oh, flip! The Merith's been working for Zarpadon the entire time! Gah! I'll meet you in Concordia. You need to have a talk with this guy. I'm not torturing anyone for you, Jack. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt him till we find out what the deal is. Trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. The elevator's still barred. That's just great. I do have a recording of the Marath talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. What about the Marath recording? Could we use that to blackmail him? Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon to be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Just stay calm, no one's watching you. I could do without the moon points. Come back here! I am the law! The law doesn't make mistakes! Hey! Ha. hey. Law bot! You just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty! Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome merit's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be long. Long live the mirror. Moss, hit it. Oh, well, I mean, you really 
really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I am Merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. Might make it worth your while. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the Merit's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Merit doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable! Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy. What a douche. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell! Come on, let's get to the elevator. Come on, elevator, let's go! Serena, I'm coming, my love! This is more like it. And here we go! To the mouth! Seriously? You idiot machine? The offices are off. Right! I'm such a kidder. Up we go! said you're a dad. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing... Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. Awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby. Hell yeah! Shopping list simple. Some serious combat chassis and top-of-the-line military AI to run them. Word is 
Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser is going to kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Brick. Booyah! Check back later. My beloved wife went for a drive hours ago, but hasn't returned. She's still out there, lost in the darkness, perhaps worse. Find my paper. Return her to my waiting arms. I'm sending her last known location to your echo device. To think of my delicate petal being roughly manhandled by a bunch of roving thugs, or eaten by wild creatures, I beseech you, and I've never beseeched before. Find her. like her car. Please search it with all the alacrity you can muster. of our car and surrounded by evil bandits. If you get this message, forget me. Live free. Goodbye. How awful. I espy nobody. Perhaps Deirdre yet draws breath and was merely taken to the bandit settlement nearby. I'll mark the location on your echo. Please, Vault Hunter, find my sweet love, be she beneath the stars or within the heavens. idea killing my men. And is that my echo message? Myron sent you, didn't he? He seems kinda sweet, but the guy's scary crazy. I mean, I wake in the night and he's staring at me. I go see friends and he follows me. When he wanted our anniversary to be a suicide pact, I knew I had to escape. So I cooked up my dramatic death. Killing Myron sounds like the most efficient course of action. Nah. Myron's got a huge family. They'd come after me. I've got a plan, Vault Hunter. It's nutty, but should convince Myron I'm one totally dead wife. Will you help? Sure. Sounds like a worthwhile mission. If Myron's going to leave me alone, he has to think I'm dead. So we're going to kill me. Well, my evil twin, Maureen. Myron doesn't know about her, and she's as loco as he is. Maureen's an escaped con hiding out nearby. Find her, kill her, then show her body to mine. Simple, simple, huh? Why are you still here? Get going! Seriously, my death won't stage itself, you know. Off you pop. She's making a run for it. Get her! Sure. Yeah. Alas, tis my Deirdre. Dead and departed. Well then, I shall join you, my love. Fear not, we shall enter the vast dark portal together. My wings beat towards you in the abyss. Whoa, talk about two psycho birds with one stone. We just cleaned up the universe a bit, Vault Hunter. Come on back for your reward. Thanks for killing my psycho sister. 
I can sleep far easier knowing her and Myra aren't around anymore. Soz. But your best bet's a mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle, lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mine, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. Now then, I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. There's something you can do for me. G'day! My grinder, Bessie, finally died and I need to scrounge up a couple of spare parts. Grinder parts don't grow on trees, but luckily I've got wind of two scab grinders you can, uh, investigate. Don't worry, they're both stolen, so it's not like you'll be robbing honest folk. The first one's on the back of a buggy. I'm sending the coordinates to your Echo. Let's go shopping! Grinders are real machines. Based on some dial tech that it came my way a while back, they take random pieces of tech you don't want and recombine them into useful gear. Weapons, shields, whatever floats your boat. Rip a little earners too. Oops. I have a big problem. Medical refrigerator ship break. Organs, tissue samples, dinner, all get for them soon. I need specialized. It keeps things cool long time. You fetch specialized from special place. I pay you. Yes? Sounds cool. That pun was not intentional. I apologize. Yes, it's good. You take drill now. Need a happy. You take drill and go now. Get specialize. It ain't easy to get to Pickle's place on foot, but I can help you out with. Ready for it? A stingray. It's old dial tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the design, so now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on. So happens that Scrambler, uh, came my way. It's supposed to unlock digestructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a stingray there, I'll fix it so all moon zoomies are stingrayed up. Ison cave is special. Contain methane, ethane, and other N. Stay very cold for a long time. You were quick, gay very cold, and have nasty creatures. Stay cool though, hey? <laughs> and in a make job. Trail works good.
could get ice, then have drill in new place. Ice good, put drill somewhere new, one more time. Good day, mate. My drink's getting as warm as a Kraken's butthole. Deliver me that special ice and I'll give you a bolt of shotgun. <laughs> Meat and bloods is strange ice. It's not normal. You a 
among us equipping us for the coming battle, our soldiers will take heart. Master, my friend. The guns we collected so far have been stolen by ruthless bandits who even now tear across the moon with their ill-gotten booty. Please chase the thieves down and retrieve them. I have updated your echo with their location. of late. Let's see how this gun goes against them. Can be fine. 
fired in a vacuum, they're way more effective in an atmosphere because they set fire to things. Which needs air, obviously. Try to keep up. here is toast. No worries. There's still that second grinder. It's in a band of camps set up in an old train station. It's run by some feral scavs called the Boosters. If you like, you could go over there, explain I need some spare parts. They'll be all, oh, sure thing. Help yourself, mate. Ha! All right. I'm updating your echo now. Go kill those crook sons of tanks. and people solid if you do enough ice damage at once. Then, one good wallop and you'll shatter them. 
stranger. Follow me. See old Bessie over there? Slot the unassembler linkage and the recombiner matrix into her. Let's see if that does the trick. Yes! Looks like she's back from the dead, but we need to make sure. These babies can, if you're lucky, spit out nice shiny equipment, but you have to know what to put in them first. Kind of like a recipe. Put in any three weapons of the same quality and you might get back a weapon of a higher quality. Sweet, eh? I've got some old ones on the table over there. Use them. I can hear the laser through my Now feed them into the grinder, let's see what she spits out. Hope this has all been worth it. Ready to operate. You're grinding nothing at this rate, soldier. Why loot the dead when you can buy from me? Try again, soldier. You still there? Look at her grind! Sweet as! These babies come with a lot of recipes, but unfortunately there's no instruction manual. You'll just have to experiment. Though I do remember someone telling me using moonstones will ensure you always get the best possible items out of them. Well, good luck and thanks for the help! Nice work! I've got one last nugget of fun to be had if you're game. I was going to tweak your gun so it shoots explosive rounds. Tons of fun. Though you'd need to watch where you fire the thing. But change of plan. I've got it doing corrosive damage. Want to give it a go? Please? Tops! Here you go. And it was here and all I don't want! If you want that one, there's got to be some residual garbage. That cluck is a total vegetable. Oh my God. Probably. I'll give that laser one last tweak and you can keep it. Now hold on one mother minute! Pew pew pew! Light guns? Seriously? What a real weapon fueled by the awesome power of explosions? The answer is yes! Maybe. I'm on a bad mission to explode all laser weapons! Hold to the coordinates I'm smacking into your echo and wait for instructions! Failure to do this will result in you being branded a huge a-hole! Now, this 
actually an ambassador of explosions! Uh, why do I get the feeling I won't be seeing that laser anytime soon? Big shame right there. these improvements into the production model. They deny it though. Plug in the scrambler to that digistruct machine. Yeah, that's it. Now just order yourself up a stingray. Legion. Soon Elpis will be rubble. I will be dead from the explosion along with everyone on Elpis and most of those living on Pandora below. I've seen you fight and I respect your skill. If you agree to leave now, I will send you an interstellar ship. We will not follow you. Think it over. Why didn't you take it? What do you think we were? A bunch of mustache twirling villains? Jack hired us to kill bad guys Get paid and help people. No different from you. You say you're anything like us, and I'll kill you where you stand. Pony Dwyer, buddy. Wanna play another round of bunkers and badasses? Not now, Tina. Oh, great. Right. Serious time. I'm in. This is gonna be epic. People will sing songs about this slammer jam. Uh, the kid's got spirit. But it'll be all for nothing if he can't find a ball. Game time. I'm fixing to perform the most badass in this slam dunk in the history of the game. But I lost my lucky ball. Could you find it for me? Now it's time to slam and jam. Dugs is lining up. Let's see if he can get the height he needs to perform what scientists have dubbed the ultimate slam dunk. Let's do this! Basketball! Watson has jumped so high he broke Elvis's gravitational pull. A truly monumentous day for b-ball, any way you put it. With dunks gone, we'll need a new athlete to show the world their stuff. 
fantastic. You don't need a ball, just jump up into the air and slam down on that hoop to complete the most slam jamminess b-ball dunk in history. If you could do so while engulfed in flames, that would be even more slam jamminess. And I only want to see one b-ball player on the court at one time. He or she is on fire! has slipped and jammed the hoop. The repercussions of this moment will be felt for eons to come. Get back here for your post-game interview. Athena, that was simply the most b-ball-tastic thing I've ever seen. What's your secret? Just hard work, you know? Just practice and hard work. I was out there on the courts every day taking it to the hole, and it finally paid off. Wise words from the single most ballness athlete to ever hit the court. Speak to me again when you're ready. Back to you, voice in my head. Hey, it's Jack, right? I'm Roland. Moxie dropped me a line. Said you need a hand building robots. My, uh, colleague. Lilith and I spotted some old doll industrial complexes dotted around the area. A scout around might solve your hardware problem. We'll let you know. Sounds good. Back on me when you got something. Poor. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, things they got over there look bang tidy. It's well. If the price is right. Says you're trying to get your mitts on some military AI. Well, it's your lucky day. You can half inch one from the Drakensberg. I hear the bosun and the skipper who run that place are well known collectors of rare and nifty intelligences of the artificial persuasion. Trouble is, it's not like you can just walk right up to the place and ask to have an AI. Still worth a shot. Cocky, eh? Fair enough. They're a tricky pair, but maybe they'll let you on board right off the bat. I'm updating your echo with the most direct route there. Truth is, I've had my eye on that wreck for a while, and you going in for a bit of a look-see would let me do a bit of shopping myself. Welcome to my humble shop. Good luck. <laughs> At night, Mom did her usual thing. She hurled a glass at me. I tried to catch it. I'd gotten good at catching whatever she tossed. But it bounced off my hand and fell on the dog. Not hard enough to hurt it, but its eyes went even redder. Lips even bluer. <laughs> Drakensberg's a juicy wreck, all right. Ex-style frigate, don't you know? They stuffed with tech I could half-inch pinch. The bosun and skipper have been good at keeping me out. But now you're here, that's about to change. Warning, air reserves at 50%.
Blackberg, ex-Star warship and all that, crashed before the crackling, that's what they say. Now a bunch of ripe-smelling scavs live there, led by the bosun and his friend, what's called the Skipper. Not that anyone knows what she looks like, which makes your head scratch. Anyway, find a way inside and don't be shy to say hello to the locals on the way. Lover. You look a little too much like trouble. How about you leave now and the bosun won't tear you to pieces? What do you say? Ha! Called it, didn't I? Got a plan B, kid? Glad you asked. The bridge has a manual override nearby. I'm uploading its location to your echo. Is that the squealing little thief pickle right here? Yeah. If you're with him, I've got half a mind to let you over here so I can pull your legs off and make you go jogging. Listen, you and the kids should stay away. That was your one warning. Hey. Survived by their skin. Let me know if anything catches your eye. from the reservoirs into the lava. We'll create our own path by cooling it off. This is gonna be ace! I'm warning you, kid. You and your pet vault hunter try any funny business and I'll wear your eyeballs as earrings. station was shut down after the crackling. Explains why there weren't no methane in the reservoirs. We need to reactivate the pumping station. That'll do the job. Uh, and by we, I mean you.
anyone need help? Violence is best served cold. Probably won't work if I fill your Vault Hunter with bullets. Transfer it. Try to see what the deal is. my bones. Used 
Sarpadon's own ship, you know. Before she got promoted, I mean. They say it went down before the crapping happened. Imagine that. Crash! Bang! Oh, would have been something to see. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. John, I want an update on the Helios situation. <laughs> Sir, I've got my best people working on a way to retake the station. That's the Hyperion CEO. I see as much of a bottle of glass arse as I hear. Who the hell is that? That is the ten-year-old boy we hired to help us. Fire, John. Shatter that enemy! that force field down, you need to go to the engine room. All right, lady, but I'm watching you. Listen, the bosun's pretty much holding me prisoner and making me do... things for his entertainment, but you're here and you look like the rescuing type. They're a flipping vault hunter, so they're more the arse-kicking type. Kind of the same thing in my book. Sorry, my mission is to retrieve a military AI. Perfect. I know exactly where you can get an excellent military AI. Just come find me. First, I'll have to show you how to shut down the bosun's barrier. 
Uh, let's seize on to something. I'm not comfortable with this, but okay. Great. I'll try to help along the way where possible, but I can't let the bosun know we're working together. So, sorry in advance for anything I have to do. I'll be in touch when you get to the engine room. Hey! Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to defend the engine room for the bosun. And these old dial sams are tough. actually has a combat AI? These pirate dick bags just sound nuts. Get it? Dick bags? Nuts? <laughs> Word is, before the bosun went native, he was some kind of AI tech whiz. Not that you'd think it now, he's gone all mum and dad mad. But what do you care? Didn't you just get fired? And when I march up to Helios with an army of badass robots, I'll be unfired so quickly it'll make Tassiter's pedo mustache spin off his big gross ugly face. Just get the AI core. Uh, okay. We can bring down the force field blocking your route to, well, me by jettisoning the main engines. Removing them will really mess up several of the Drakensberg's key systems. I'll quietly talk you through things and update your echo where appropriate, but the bosun's going to throw a lot of his men at you. Let them come. First, head to the engine control panel and set the ship's engines to maximum output. Get it? All too easy. Get it. Get out of here, there, baby. Get out. Help! Over here! Great. Kid, can you find a way to the flow regulator if you know what that is? 
course I know. Give me a sec. Stabilizer. Uh, I don't understand it, love. Put you on us. Hello, fault ass pain. Shoot it, and we're almost done. <laughs> shoes on. Honestly, you just blurt out threats without thinking. Good. Initiate the engine jettison sequence. Bit, but I knew it would annoy him, so I thought, why not? Job well done! You're on your own, Vault Hunter. I've got fresh loot to sort! Head back to the core system room. We'll take care of the bosun's force field when you get there. The engine shafts your fastest route. That's falling right there. <laughs> Open too. What is wrong with you, my love? Boop Dick always had the nicest things to say about you. Oh, I know. room now. So 
presence of Elpis. You must understand. This measure is necessary. decision. You're sharp. The bosun, a.k.a. Keith, used to be an AI tech working for Dahl. He made me into this after he, uh, wasn't exactly a hit with the ladies. I want that military-grade AI core. Where is it? You're looking at it. I used to be military-grade, ran this ship when it meant something, until the bosun reprogrammed me to be his companion. If you want to plug me into something more interesting than this dead ship, I'm all yours. Too many terrible memories here. What? The hot chick's actually an ex-military AI reprogrammed to be some geek's fake girlfriend? <laughs> Sold. Grab the lovely lady and get going. You've got some friggin' robots to build. <gasps> Bad news is the scabs living there do not like us. 
That's awesome. Apart from the you being shot at part, of course. Great work. Uh, thanks. We'll be in touch once we've dealt with these guys. It's gonna be harder than it sounds. Hello, this thing working? Vault Hunter, you gotta get that factory's production line running again. I know the factory he's talking about. I can help you navigate it. First, you'll need to catch a train. That looks like an old Drakensberg data device. That's well juicy. Not that I'm monitoring your activities or nothing. Find a console to plug it into. Maybe it'll tell us something interesting. Looks like someone snuck a secret room into the Drakensberg, and it's marked on this map. Wonder if anyone else found it. Uploading the coordinates to your echo. Identification, please. Figures. Captain Zarpadon, voice identification failed. Zarpadon, eh? She used to command the Drakensberg back in the day. If you can find some recordings of her voice, I reckon we could jimmy the lock, so to speak. You all know I am not one to bro All hands be advised, while naming our new mascot Zarpadon would naturally be a wonderful act of kindness, it's also against regs. Please choose another. That is all. Warning! Incoming bat -out. Attention crew. The Drakensberg's instruments are picking up in frequent energy pulses, which appear to emanate from inside Elvis. Our best men are examining the readings. Though until further notice, I want all hands to attend weekly medical checkups. That's an order. Will, get back to that stubborn door. I'll work on a bit of sound magic. Nice work. Let's see if your Uncle Pickles got what it takes. Give the door a try. I am Zarpadon, captain of the Drakensberg. Welcome, Captain Zarpadon. Ah, I've still got it. Zarpadon's personal log. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to the Drakensberg and her crew. But a promotion's a promotion. Even if it is, thankfully, only for a year. I'm looking forward to taking the reins of the local doll fleet but I'm unsure if Captain Rankus is truly ready to command this ship. I've moved most of my belongings to my new command carrier, but my private armory is going to have to wait until I'm properly settled in. General Higgins assures me my extra pay will cover Britannia's new medical treatments. I miss her terribly, but when this tour is over, I'll be home for good, finally. Nice work. When you're ready, come back to me and drop off those echoes. I'll bet they're worth a fortune to the right buyer. You keep whatever else you find in there. I'm sorted.
There's a job. Is treasure your thing? Well, this could be your lucky day. I reckon we're about to hit the big time. I've got me mitts on an echo. What says there's a treasure map in Outlands Canyon? Could be nothing, but I'm a dreamer, me. Grab that shovel, head over there, and see if you can dig up that map. Ace! I'm sending some coordinates to your echo. Head out, and I'll give you a bit of a chin wag to fill you in. Oh, this is gonna be lovely jubbly. Morning. You're after the map that was buried here, aren't you? Well, I dug it up, took a look, then uh, flushed that load of crag and manure down the dunny. Don't worry, I did the moon a favour. He flushed the map down the loo? Oh, I ain't giving up. It'll end up at the research facility garbage dump nearby. If you get your skates on, maybe you can find it. Uh, seriously? Yeah. Just think of the riches if it does lead somewhere. Updating your echo now. Treasure map? Keep digging! <coughs> that ain't no use to us. Looks like we've got to bend our back some. Not afraid of a bit of hard work now, are we? That don't sound so good. They say he was. I reckon getting off Elpis before the crackling was smart. Hey, is that it? A heap of rocks? Oh, I get it. We gotta go through them. I know. I bet there's some bang sticks at the Hydro Watson station. A nifty bit of fingersmithing there, and we can be back here in a jiffy. One day, my dog got bit by a frenzy crutch hiding in the tall grass. Eyes went red, lips went blue. Right, slap those charges down and let's do some renovating. Looks like. Oh. Good morning. 
I don't mind telling you. I'm gutted. Right down to me old... She's coming back for me! She's coming back! She's coming back for me! She's coming back! Go away! Jay... I don't know. Something. Alone, since this moon was blown apart. They think I left, but I came here instead. Gathered everything on the whole moon that's precious to me. Me. Called me mad, they did. But I'm the one still alive, and I'm the one all the cool imaginary people want to hang out with. She came again last night, scratching at my ears. Let me in, she said. Go away, I said. I don't talk to imaginary people. Imaginary, said she. I'm Eliza, and I'm just trying to find my way back home. So I told her, in that case, take the first left it. It's not here, and straight on till I don't care. Ha! Huh. Tricky my brain is. Wants me to go mad. But I'm not gonna do that, am I, Eliza? <laughs> Eliza? That's an unusual name around here. Uh, take a look around the other room. There's bound to be something worth snuffling. Keep whatever you find. I'm feeling... I'm feeling... generous. It wasn't quite the treasure trove I had in mind. Still, come back and we'll get you paid up. <coughs> Great work! Couldn't have done it without. So there I was, thinking I'm all alone after the crackney, when you find that nut job, Rabbit Adams, and he goes and blurts out my sister's name. I thought Eliza was brown bread dead. Seems she ain't. Thing is, she was a right soft touch, and I don't think she'll be able to last long out here without my help. I'm uploading your echo with the last place she was seen, according to my sources. <coughs> See that? Giant laser trying to smash the moon to pieces? I'll leave that thought there. He's flimmin' hysterical! Give him a slap! That should calm him down. Thanks! I needed that. The pretty little rat flags me down, says she needs help carrying a load of moonstones. As soon as I get out, she jumps in and takes off in my flame chariot. Sure, I was about to rob her blind, yeah. but that's it! Honest, I wasn't gonna strangle her! Still, my chariot's got a tracker in it. 
and she's in for one hell of a surprise when I catch up with her, I can tell you! Strangle. Eliza nick this geezer's wheels. Good on her! Find out that tracker's frequency. No one's finding my big sis but me. The tracking frequency, please. You're joking! No bloody way on help us, I'm telling you that! No, 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 no way! No! Straight up. Channel 27. Nice work. He was a right dodgy nutter. Right, tuning into Channel 27 now and updating your echo. Is that Eliza? She's a goner for sure! I've been tracking that sly little minx for days after she stole my favourite rifle, Boganella. Almost got her too. Shot up at flash ride, but she's smart. Bruce, if you find this, she took the jet fighter keys. Must be on her way to Christ's scar to steal my pride and joy. <laughs> I'm losing blood fast, but if you can take her down, I'll get the last laugh. Ain't Eliza either, but it sounds like she's got herself in a right to an egg state. We've got to get to her before Bruce does. You don't sound too friendly. Sounds like she's heading to the Crisis Scar Com Tower. Updating your echo now. I, Cosmo Wishbone, polymath extraordinaire, require your brutish assistance. I intend to bless this moon with music of my own composition. To do so on the grand scale, I shall send a satellite into orbit. To these ends, I have built a rocket. Almost. Help me complete it and you will become part of my story. Interested? To complete the rocket, I require several key items and will reward you handsomely for their procurement. First, Go forth and fetch me a flow regulator. I have provided your echo device with the location of just such an item. A flow regulator will help control Excelsior's throttle. And apologies about the noisy neighbors. I could have done this myself, of course. I'm known to be a highly proficient warrior with a car. But I'm in the middle of applying the finishing touches to my latest exploration into sound in A minor. And it needs to be ready in time for the satellite launch. Hey. Don't let them discourage you. Onward. should have mentioned the potential for an explosion. Never mind. Dust yourself off and let's proceed. Now, I need a flight data recorder. 
My sources tell me the old Drakensberg recorders in the grabby hands of a simpleton junk collector named Tony Sluice. I've uploaded his location to your Echo device. You should be able to snaffle it when he's busy showing you his ridiculous collection of worthless junk. Tony Slows has been boasting about having THE Drakensberg's black box on the Echo Net bulletin boards for weeks. Ninkum poop that he is, it sounds like he might actually have it. Touch the exhibits. Ah, I visited a few of my famous collection of rare starship parts. Make a small donation and we'll get started. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Now, let the grand tour begin. Uh, and keep your meat hunks off the exhibits or else you and I are going to fall out and that will get real ugly. This here is the escape pod ejection system from the starship Gigantic, destroyed in its maiden voyage after striking a comet. All 11,000 people on board were killed when their escape pods launched, only to all smash into each other. <laughs> this looks like a bird cage, right? Wrong. It's the power core regulator from the Solar Liner Crusade, which exploded in space dock when someone removed it for dusting. They tried to put it straight back in, but the Crusade was, you know, exploded. And the tour continues this way if you like to follow me. The best thing I got's this flight data recorder from the Drakensberg. She suffered a critical engine failure during the Krakening and came down not too far from here. Had to fight off a lot of competition to get it. I don't mind rolling my sleeves up when I have to. Goodness, that's actually it. The data recorder. Just take it, take it now. Hey, no handling my exhibits. You're not here for the tour at all, are you, you darn crook? This is my quest item. I am very cross net. Finally, Excelsior needs a gyroscope for stability. I'll update your Echo post haste. The local ingrates won't be too happy about you taking it, but I'm sure they can be reasoned with. Well, I didn't expect such a robust defense from Tony. Still, progress demands sacrifices of us all. Thank <laughs> you. 
No talking to some people. You wait, though. I will send the universe into raptures once Excelsior powers into the heavens, and my music plays for all to hear. What do you want me to do with this gyroscope? Excellent. We're almost there. Return to my lab, and I'll show you genius at work. You may have a little trouble with the neighbors again. me and I am most displeased. Get rid of them. That's it. She's ready to go. Join me in the viewing gallery for a front row seat as my beautiful creation unleashes audio bliss. Thank <laughs> you. 
one terrible thing we do feel richly satisfying. Please return the guns to our drop box. My thanks, Vault Hunter. Your continued aid is much appreciated. The pot triplets, our most headstrong members, armed by the weapons you brought us, are locked in a complex dispute. Perhaps a respected Vault Hunter can resolve it. I'm uploading their location to your Echo. Please bring a healing wave of calm to the situation. unhinged. I like both of you, and I'm still aiming at you. Yeah, you're definitely the most unhinged. Unless it's me, I don't even know what we're arguing about, but I'm definitely going to shoot stuff. Vault Hunter, be guided by your instinct as you choose whose side to take in this most troubling dispute. Understand what's happening. Let's get into it, cheetah. Less healing than I'd hoped for. Still, thank you. Recruit. Return to base and have a think about what just happened here and the lessons you can draw from it. Yeah. Yeah, was it dirty days? I need another month to get the sausage and mash cash. This, it was me! I sent them! Pickle? Blow me down, it's me little brother's fault, Anna. Well, since you're here, a bunch of nasty scabs are about to arrive, led by someone who wants my noggin on a stick. Buy me enough time to refuel this jet fighter and I'll come and help. Deal? Vault Hunter. Help my sis and I promise I won't never nick anything out your pockets again. Eight. Yeah. Ah. 
Eliza! We had a good old chinwag about our folks, the future and all that. Then, while I brewed us another cuppa, she scarpered, nicking off me savings and most of me best inventory. She's family, all right. Oh, so long, sis. Till next time. Oh, she left you a fancy rifle. Said it was too mouthy for her or something. I hate. I've picked up an old distress signal in the Outlands. Someone might need help, but maybe there's bonds of salvage out there instead. Uploading the cohorts to your Echo device now. Then I'm not the only one here in Beacons. With all the ships that rained out the skies during the Krakening, well, there was a lot of distress and not much relief. If other parties think there's salvage in the offing, they'll be dipping their snouts into the trough too. That stinking traitor, the Mariff, might be dead, but I hate leaving a job unfinished. Sure, I can't kill him again, much as I'd love to, believe me, but I can make sure no one remembers he ever existed. Here, old Huckster kept kind of a diary about his exploits, hid three juicy echoes in his office. I want him gone. Find him. Destroy them. Let's wipe his grubby slate clean. This feels pretty far from professional. I have worked. Nurse Nina need you for love. No, <laughs> come out wrong. Nina, Nina lonely. Need partner for love times. Nina find three, how, how do you say, suitors. 
Suitors don't know their suitors yet. Take flowers, take love cards from table. Nina sent you coordinates, yes? You find suitor number one. the size of a space station. A freaking space station. Those are those are pretty big. Uh, seriously in the fish tank? What a prick! Come on, let's hear the old goat one last time. First day on the new job and yeah, it's great to be king. I've worked bloody hard to get here, greased multiple palms, and kissed more than my fair share of arse. But it's worth it. Concordia needs someone like me to steer it through some choppy waters. Tough, fair, just the right amount of open-mindedness. And if a bit of extra money happens to fall into my pocket as I do my job, well, I'll just call that campaign finance. Feels great to leave Hyperion. There I was just a small cog, in a huge machine. But here, here, oh, I'm a big fish. I really need to work on my visual metaphors. Point is, the future's rosy for Huxter T. Meredith, AKA Concordia's new Merith. Merith, a mayor and a sheriff. <laughs> wow, how much crap can one guy shovel? Man, I did the universe a favor wiping out his back shooting traitorous ass. You know what to do. Oh, that was therapeutic. Okay, keep snooping around for another one. <laughs> the old moving bookcase, huh? That guy was a walking freaking cliche. Nobody puts stuff behind bookcases anymore. Who even has books? Let's have some fun and see what else our bull shoveling pal had to say for himself. Poy it! going according to plan. I'm richer than my wildest dreams. Popular. <laughs> Alive. The other day, Philo Simmons, the guy with the weird leg, came to the office to thank me for the work I did with the food drive. Thank me. Shook my hand. Tears in his eyes. Can you believe it? Trembling chin in the works. I'm a flippin' saint. But why can't I sleep anymore? Sure, I can use all the money on food, but a man's got to live. I mean, a little bit. But I'm still what this place needs, am I? It's a hard universe, and yeah, I, yeah, I can still turn this around. I can, I can still change. <gasps> uh, a guy like that doesn't grow a conscience overnight. He said it himself. He was happy to steal the food out of other people's mouths. Sure, it's a tough universe, but there's no excuse for being an asshole unless you're funny with it. Then it's kind of totally fine. But he wasn't even funny! Ha! A slot machine in his own office? Okay, I actually can... Why listen to this? Just destroy the thing, will ya? I never leave a mission unfinished. And I have to admit, I'm curious to hear what he had to say. Fine. Man, who's the boss here? You came last night, tall bitch. Made me betray Hyperion. Not that I care about the board, money grubbers. Just the clueless workers I'm probably helping to kill. I'm done. I'm out. I could feel the last of whatever it is I call a soul being destroyed as I accepted a payment. <laughs> but I didn't want to die. And if I didn't do what she said, who knows what she have done to Concordia. But I did have the keys to Helios. If I leave, then maybe Zarpadon and her purple army will leave my people alone. I'll go somewhere. I'll try to make a fresh start. Atone for my sins. I know I'm running away. Bloody coward. I'm the biggest ass on the moon. And there's some asses on that moon, but I'm the biggest. So Hux was crawling around searching for some kind of redemption, huh? 
Well, I'll give him redemption. In fact, let's immortalize him in song. Don't destroy that last echo. Grab it. Take it to Moxie's and give it to those DJ assholes. Boom and rang. They owe me a favor. I got them the kick. <laughs> Giant laser. Got this mix, so even. Not even close, helmet head. Good. While they work on that, I want you to do something else. You know that terrible, ugly ass statue of our Marif? Get me its head. I'm cooking something up, and I think you're gonna like it. Man, even his statue is ugly. Let's improve it and remove the head. Shoot it or whatever. This is gonna be fantastic. This feels pretty far from professional. Yeah, do it. Good. You are gonna love this. You know that rocket in town? Well, we're gonna have ourselves a little launch party. I don't really get where this is going. Yeah, if this comes out anywhere close to how it is in my head, everyone in this town's gonna be tough. Okay, see that spike on the end? The rocket needs a new figurehead. Jump right up there and decorate it. Ha! Perfect! His smug face will smash into whatever crap hole we fire it at. Speaking of which, put in some coordinates for this ship to fly to... I don't know, how about Pandora? Does the planet have a butthole you can send it to? Other than this one, of course. Okie dokie, looks like we're ready, people. Should really have a bottle of bubbly to smash against the side, but whatever. Launch it! Also, let's get some party music going. Hey, DJ assholes, let's hear that remix. <clears throat> fun. Let's do it again sometime. The atmosphere around here is odd, eh? Wonder what all that stuff being vented into it is. When I was a kid, I used to think that's where nightmares came from. So I used to try to hold my breath. Yeah, turns out that doesn't work. Keep it light, Springs. <laughs> Stay quiet. Try not to make too much. 
too much noise. Got my signal, eh? Good. I've been chased here by a gang of scabs led by some gearhead named Boomer. They want my head on a stick for stealing their ill-gotten loot. I hold up here to make a stand and then realise there are too many to... Here they come. Head down there, help me fight them off. I'll drop as many as I can from up here. Yeah, come and get some, Boomer. <coughs> fast friends with. Amelia's the name. Adventuring's my game. That's on my new business card. But Twee? I like it. But then I don't know what Twee means. I'm Janie Springs. Do you think you'll survive this shootout? I hope so. Otherwise I've got 300 business cards that won't ever get used. You can send me an Echo Net version because pretend I said something witty. I'd like your number. Well then, okay, Janie Springs, it's yours. So listen, since you helped me, it's only fair I split my loot with you. You want to kill or not be killed? Take your pick. Thanks again. I better get going before any more of those scabs catch up. Looks like you lost out this time. But thanks for the pointer. What are you talking about? I got something all right. I got Amelia's number. Nothing is never an option. Warning, no atmosphere detected. I see the light there. 
Um, I am Sir Hammerlock, a zoologist on Pandora. There are some fascinating creatures on the moon, but one in particular strikes my fancy. Since I'm not much for interplanetary travel, could you acquire a couple of specimens and mail them to me? I need the little ones. Those big ones must be parents. Don't seem too friendly, do they? Oh well, as they say, to make an omelette, you'll need to murder things. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> what? Oh, those fellows do like to slap you around a bit, don't they? a horrid little shop out of a rocket. Take the threshers to him, and he'll be able to smuggle them off Elpis and down to Pandora's surface. I 
I tried to feed one. I've named him Terry, but it turns out he's acquired a taste for Pandoran flesh. I do hope I haven't disrupted the delicate ecosystem of Pandora by introducing a new species. Ah, pish-posh. At least they're tiny buggers. the guns with which we shall paint a rosy new dawn. Your work is done, Vault Hunter. We are ready. The time has come. Please come witness the fruits of your labor. Transmitting coordinates now. <laughs> my friend, a provider, a giver, a messenger of hope, ready to stand shoulder to shoulder with the People's Liberation Army and say, no more. With these guns we shall forge a fearsome weapon that will shake the old order to its core. We wage a war against meaninglessness and we fight it with art. Real art that makes a statement more potent than a million bullets and far less blood. That People's Liberation Army really did it this time. I don't get it. Well, it's a metaphor. You know what a metaphor is, right? Is it a stag? so iridescently bright. A new life betokens a new name. Felicity, it means happiness. From now on, I'm Felicity. Um, sure, Felicity. Okay. 
train. Plug me in. I'll call the train. It might take a few minutes. Ten hut! Train incoming! Okay, let's check out the factory and get things moving ASAP. We need mucho robot bodies if we're gonna retake Helios and save the day and stuff. Capiche? build a super awesome robot army. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Aren't you the naysayer? Evidently, this place became a regular ghost town when Dahl packed up and left after the Krakening. But we just need to get to the power suit section and get things up and running again. The door's jammed. Maybe some kind of manual override. We need another way in. Find a console and hook me up to it. I bet I... Ugh, talks. This place could have a serious talk infestation. Hope they're perfect. Just give me a moment to look around. There's barely any power running through this. Some help over here. Ta-da! More nasties. These filthy wire chews are everywhere. I hate them. Plus, it looks like local scabs have set up shop. Push through here and find me a console to plug into so I can find out what's ahead. And kill me some bugs while you're at it. Another jammed door. Well, maybe it'll open if you give it a good pull. I'd forgotten how fun exploring new systems can be. Right then, past this building, great. Almost zero juice running through this place, and the old turrets still work. That'll be me soon, won't it? This is the entrance to the Stingray facility. Could you get me access to that gate console? I meant that rhetorically. I mean, you need to. <gasps> Got a problem. The security system's being all fighty and feisty, so. Oops, sorry. I'll work on opening the door. You deal with the turrets. If you get it done, whoever programmed you is an idiot. the turrets so they only fire at talks should help a bit i'll get this stubborn thing open hopefully hey kids how's it going down there having fun keeping things on track with the whole robot army plan we're a little behind schedule but on top of the mission hey G, i'll see you soon This door's being a huge pain in my digital arse. There's a jump pad nearby I can activate. Let's use that to get in. It was probably put there by scavs who use pads like that to sneak in and out of Concordia. Here 
goes nothing! Charming. Looks like scavs have put up crude electric fields, presumably to keep out talks. Follow that cable. Let's see if we can shut it down. must be connected to a master fuse box somewhere. Follow them. They should lead the way out. There's the master fuse box. Shutting it down should get us past this last electric field, though I suppose it'll probably shut down all the other fields as well. So eyes peeled for talks. have helped run a scav gang, but that didn't stop me finding these repulsive scraps of humanity <laughs> disgusting. Each one you kill is making the universe a cleaner place. Nuts. We get it. You captured our huge scary laser. Gold star. Hello? Uh, help? I'm being held hostage in the main control room just ahead of your current position. Any chance you could, you know, rescue me? The bloody scabs will eat me when they realize I'm not what I say I am. Huh. to see you. Here I was doing some help yourself exploring, working on a pet project I've been cooking up, 
when the scab swept in about to cut me up bad when I persuaded them I'm a medic. I am a doctor, but more the Hyperion R&D kind. Jack, you know this guy? I don't recognize him. Yo, what's your name? Ah, uh, sorry, bruv. Gladstone Katoa, D Division. What brings you here? Oh, D Division. That's where they hide all the Brainiacs who work on the, all the super secret awesome stuff, right? Uh, I work on experimental tech. The Division Green lit me using the resources here. Why are you here? Well, Gladstone Katoa, I need to get back to Helios and retake the big ass laser on it from a bunch of freaky looking doll military types. And if we don't, the moon's gonna go boom and take half of Pandora with it. You know, the huge. Oh man, I wonder what was going on. So, why are you here? Shouldn't you be somewhere more space station? Jack wants to build a robot army driven by my AI, then retake Helios with it. I'm Felicity, by the way. Oh. Gotcha. You're after my prototype. Well, it's not finished. What? No, we're here to build robots. What prototype are you talking about? Ah, oh, right. I was working on an uh, off-the-books project, creating a master bot capable of digistructing an almost unlimited supply of other bots. My prototype's almost done, but the scav stopped me from installing some key parts. Besides, I wouldn't want something that powerful to fall into their grimy hands. This guy? This guy right here? Tell me more. Yeah, bro. We'll just need to finish putting the hardware together. After that, install a military-grade AI and POW! It should pump out combat-ready loaders. Way ahead of you, man. What do you think old Felicity is here for? What? You want me inside some kind of constructor bot? That's not what I had in mind. Ooh, constructor. I like it. Nice. So, uh, tech dude, this prototype can digistruct combat loaders, right? Because, to be honest, those power suits seem kind of lame. Yeah, yeah, totally. But first, you'll need to finish putting together the prototype. You'll need, you'll to, get need to get access to the main bot factory, factory itself through the transportation gate. I'll monitor, monitor the, systems the systems from here. Alright, go Team Robot Army. Do I not get a say in this? Sure, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Just make my loaders deadly. By the way, last guy who double-crossed me has got nothing but a bunch of bullet holes and a stupid look on his face. Get me? Why would I cross you, bruv? You're trying to save the moon, and you seem like a stand-up guy. Plus, you're about to help me complete my life's work. Hyperion just didn't have the resources on Helios for my project. And there was all this old dull tech just left, lying around. They gave me an escort tech, but the scavs chewed them up pretty quick. I wonder if that's what happened to them. Anyway, then I was on my own. I knew they'd send a rescue party, though. Never stopped hoping. Ah, uh, yeah, Hyperion didn't send us. I did. But you're Hyperion! Oh, bruv, they're the coolest company. Best three years of my life. I don't want to count talks before they're hatched, but you know what? I think you're right. Uh, apparently not. Uh, they've got a dial power suit. Sorry, bruv. Compound loader is gonna be way more kick ass. Speaking of which, how's that going? <laughs> Finally here. So, this is the birth canal of my new robot army, huh? Yeah, this is where I was doing most of my work before the scavs came and forced me to be their medic. We we'll need to clear the area of them before getting to work. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough. You can't get rid of me that easily.
place kind of looks like a junkyard. Are you sure we can build something badass up in here? Of course, Prof. The staffs make it look way worse than it is. First thing we need to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. Locked up. Hmm. Let's see if we can get you in through the window. Let me see if I can get that cover down. These guys are rude. Looks like scavs have barricaded themselves inside. That security glass is vulnerable to cold. Reckon you should freeze and smash. the water. At least this place has power now. That is the sound of progress. One step closer to saving the world. Okay, let's get down to serious business now. The first thing we need to do is complete the eye part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Well, let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little bugger's back quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared. It should already be set up. Place the pieces in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. There it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. So beautiful. Okay, now pick it up. This is so freaking hot. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. <laughs> Flip that latch and the cage should open. <laughs> is this what we're building? Oh, I was so close to finishing this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Oh, it's, uh, looks kind of like a dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistrike highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. This is really happening! It's working! My old professor 
said I'd never amount to anything, but she was wrong. And now look at me. Want me inside that thing? I've been wondering about this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scanned. Uh, let me think about it. That's good. That's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. I can help prepare the targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a fast way to do that. are in the other lab. They're still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit, so you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. How about I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled? Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you.
plug me in. This body feels strange. Arms, legs. Is this what it's like to be human? This is the worst. All right, let's see what you can do. Thanks for the air support, Wilhelm. Get back into 
This is the only way. Vault Hunter, do it. Sorry, Felicity. The moon can't wait. Stuff needs a kick in the pants too. Let me get that down. Pick up awesome new names and colors for Hyperion weapons. Alright, I think we're good to go. Come back to Moxie's, we'll get you geared up and ready for the big fight. some loot away for a special occasion. Guess this qualifies. Help yourselves.
All right, here we go, everybody. The jamming signal's down, we've got a robot army, and it's time to get back to Helios and turn off that death laser. Roland and I will head up with you guys and provide support. And I'll be cheering you on from the cozy confines of this cantina. I don't know how hairy things have gotten up there, so be prepared for anything. Let's go. We'll fast travel up there first. You follow behind. If we don't shut that laser down soon, we can kiss this whole moon goodbye. See you on, See you on the other side, side kiddo. What she what said. What she said. Let's be heroes. Well, Nurse Nina wanted me to give these to you. Little Nurse Nina? Why, I had no idea. Am I blushing? I'm blushing, aren't I? Tell Nina I'll look her up the next time I'm in town. Now you kill him with ice. See how hot his love run. What? Big shame. He pretty boy, but too weak. Nina forgot to say, you test futures too, yes? They tough enough to handle Nina's love, they survive. No, go fetch shooter number two. Don't forget card and flowers. Hi, Seth. I'm Captain Chef, and I just discovered this moon. It's most essential I lay claim to it before someone else does. I brought the flag. King Greg likes it when you plant a flag. But royal protocol requires me to stand to attention and salute whilst it's being raised. Can't do two things at once, I'm afraid. So if you can retrieve it from my travel case and hoist it for me as I stand here, well then, hey presto, this whole place becomes the property of King Grey. Good show. Now here's the flag, Pearl. Go ahead and mount good old King Greg's colors. I should warn you, these jolly foreigner types are prone to take umbrage when you discover somewhere they're already living. Not that drinking mud is much of a life, what? Good job for them I showed up. Hoist the flag for King Greg. Huzzah! There she blows. I just have to stand like this until it reaches the top. Assisting item? Well, thank goodness for that! I can finally put my arm down! <clears throat> I now declare this whole place the property of King Greg! Hurrah! <laughs> oh, you seem to have made rather a lot of mess! Well, not to worry, these things tend to clear themselves up in the end. Well, must.
mustn't loiter. There's plenty of other undiscovered places out there waiting for me. Goodbye! stories about sub-level 13 in the old doll factory that make me shiver. That didn't stop me from sending me mate Harry to, uh, recover a space folding inverter I got wind of. He's as smart as they come, but not that handy with a gun. He just radioed back some twaddle about ghosts and all teams and, ah, I'm gonna die! So, I'm sending you in to find him. Get into the old doll factory, find Harry and my inverter, and get out! Bish bash bosh! He look powerful! Give gifts! <laughs> Hope no blood on them! Nurse Nina's been watching you. She wanted me to give you these. From Nina? Lost count of the number of times she patched me up. I always hoped and dreamed, but I never expected. Now kill him! Use acid weapon! Test those strong love skinnies! What the? You're getting dead! Nina, eh? Well, tell her that's very sweet and all, but I'm not interested. What? He reject Nina's love? Kill him with fire so he burns in my angry! Ha! I won't go down easy. Deadly, strong, and just the right amount of psychotic. I just had to know you were serious, and nothing says commitment. 
like an attempted assassination. You come for me. She fix you. <laughs> I'll be there. In a flash, Madala. Thanks, Paul. I owe you a debt of gratitude. That delicate petal's been on my mind ever since I first laid eyes on her. Flash, this door's being a huge pain in my digital arse. There's a jump pad nearby I can activate. Let's use that to get in. Let's use that to get in. It was probably put there by scavs who use pads like that to sneak in and out of Concordia. <coughs> on up there. That's something. Descending. Be aware. Sub-level 13 has been designated an Obsidian Alpha Quarantine Zone. Don't worry if it's dark as coal dust. I reckon... gun didn't slow him down. I barely made it out. I've modified the frequency of E-Gun so he should be able to hurt them. Trouble is, this place is also infested with talks. Hopefully I can wake him out in here. When I find that inverter, you're paying me double. Good old Harry. Always the joker. Well, you didn't find my inverter, but you found my mate. No denying that. <laughs> his soul, didn't manage to get my inverter before he shuffled off the old mortal coil. Seeing as you're there, makes sense you finish the job. Honor his memory, see? I'm updating your echo with the most likely place you need to search. Take that e-gun thing and keep it handy. Off you pop. I sent Harry, because he knows his science stuff. Could spot an inverter... Accident report 16A. We were using the cargo fast travel system to clean up a pile of torp carcasses. Been in the rigs, I know. When Schmidt slipped and fell on them, she screamed, disappeared, some nutty Torx attack, smashed a damn travel node to pieces. It all happened so fast. The real tragedy is now I have to finish my shift alone. Nice one, Schmidt. That's so impressive. I actually work on those things. Help me. Are you experiencing feelings of dread? I know I am. Accident report 16A, supplemental. 
So, yeah, ghosts. Harper keeps whining about glowing half-women, wandering around, moaning. We keep getting these weird power outages, too. So, practical upshot, I quit. Consider this my resignation. You know, I got a theory. Find the main fast travel control system, and then we'll be laughing. Locked door, eh? Wait a minute. I've got some old dial security codes around here somewhere. Here we go. Try inputting one nine eight four. travel node, but why do you want to do that? Thank you so much. I was trapped in there. Here's something to say thank you. Thank Bold Hunter. Maybe you'll find someone special one day and almost kill them. Where is everybody? Crap, I think we're on the other side of Helios. Crap, looks like the fast travel split us all up. Doesn't change the plan though. Get to the Eye of Helios command center, shut the laser down without damaging it, Save the moon and be hailed as a hero forever. Turn head. Cards are dead. Here comes the pain! Well, what the hell are you doing? I fired you! And you'll be thanking me once Helios is back in Hyperion hands. What have you done to the station? The color scheme is all... Oh, red and black were a little grim. Yellow pop is better, don't you think? Anyway, you can't fire me, sucker. You already did. Later! That would be a six. Well, station seems more or less in one piece. How about you? You holding up? Kinda felt bad for the AI we erased. Charge! My body. I don't know what. Alright, cool. I'll meet up with you later. We can talk some more then. Hey!
Permission required. Unpleased. Oh, uh, maybe you can get a clap draft to authorize you. There should be one nearby. And, uh, sorry in advance. <laughs> I need to get into Jack's office. Okay, I shall lead the way. Wasn't the door I needed open? Oh, snap. Guess I'll have to start over. You're kidding me. Track sister overloaded. Oh, look. It's it's snowing. I don't care. Warning: wind speeds exceeding nominal values. Looks like I created a snow tornado. Hooray! I may screw up from time to time, but I love myself, and that's what really matters. No, it is not! Do it or I'll kill you! Oh 
Okay. Integration commencing. User authorized. Have a nice day. I'm dying. I'm dying. Noted. Oh, you made it to the office? Great. Uh, do me a favor and turn on that fast travel in there, would you? For now, I need you to take that claptrap you found and plug him into the security terminal. He can lower the defenses leading to the Eye of Helios laser. The claptrap died. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, if I ever become CEO, I'm gonna destroy every last one of those friggin' things. Good. Now we can't lower the Helios defenses. Oh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Jack, my team's been down in R&D. We're bloody surrounded. Sorry, Gladstone, but I just had an idea. Vault Hunters, get to R&D and rescue Gladstone's team. They can hack those defenses for us and open up the way to the eye. Got it, smart. <laughs> Start a derp, why don't you just not destroy the moon and kill hundreds of innocent people? Hundreds now to save, millions later. And my name is Zarpadon. Tungstina Zarpadon. <laughs> Tungstina Zarpadon. You must have been super popular in high school. My god, your parents were assholes. <sighs> oh, glad you made it. Come find me, but be careful, the talks broke out of their cages. Kill those talks so we can talk. Now that I think about it, I do remember Gladstone. He helped set up R&D on his own. Hired the team all by himself, made a lot of pretty cool stuff. He's a decent enough guy. The other side just still need your help. I can get you to the Eye of Helios, but I need some help. Three of my fellow scientists got stuck in here when Zarpadon's forces attacked. Sorry. If you can free them, we can lower the defenses leading to the Eye. You don't need to apologize so much. Right. Right. Sorry. I mean, not, I mean, not really sorry. I mean, um... I'll head back to Jack's office now. These things can cloak? Oh, the stalkers? They got a gland that produces a substance that bends light. <laughs> Fun little guys. Hey. Hey. Oh, cool. Jack sent help. Well, I'd love to get out of here, but the soul is really stalkers. It's my office when they took my stuff. I lost a picture of my kid. I know it's out there, but he likes to know I'm Oh, Dr. Langlois, yeah, he helped design the loaders back when they just carried around boxes and stuff. Smart enough, dude. His kid smells like soup, though. Hey! i 
How's your son been doing anyway? It's great. He's got a girlfriend. Oh wow, oh, wow. really? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. He, he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Not even close. Could I have that photo, please? Thanks. That ugly face gets me through the day. Here's something for your troubles. I'll open the way for you, but be careful. Lots of baddies on the other side. I'll meet you back at Jack's office. Thanks again. Thanks again for helping me out with that dumb family stuff. See you later, Vault Hunter. Later. You saved Dr. Langua. Great. Just rescue the last two scientists and we can get you to the eye laser. Ah, oh, the freaking beast! Seven. Be careful, those torture assholes! <laughs> <laughs> advancements in marine biology. Pressure resistance, stuff like that. I mean, it's not that sexy, but his stuff sells like hotcakes on the aquamarine planets. John. Mr. Tassiter, we've retaken a section of Helios. We're only steps away from taking back the laser and saving Pandora. Because I'm awesome. Uh, yeah. Great. I'm calling to tell you that the board has decided to reverse your termination. You... <laughs> have their support. <laughs> All right! Pleasure to be working with you again, asshole. What kind of you go pour yourself a big tall glass? I told you so in second. I'm back and ready for more. <laughs> I'm not 
but thanks. Bring it! Teddy bear, coming back now. Great! I'll let you in! Just rescue Dr. Grayson and we can lower the Eye of Helios defenses for you. So, what's the purpose of this place? This particular R&D section makes weapons, laser refinement, cloaking tech, all kinds of fun stuff. The bad guys are always getting bigger guns, so we gotta be ahead of the curve. Kill those creatures, then we'll... Kill those creatures, then we'll... Pop. Then we'll talk. Hey, uh, so I'd escape, but I may have uh, dropped my key card and uh, and a stalker ate it. Can you track the key down and, and, and get me out of here? So, you dropped your keys? Hey, my doctorate's in iridium experimentation, not holding onto your keys without dropping them. My college didn't offer that major. I hope you guys kill Zarpidon. She's the worst. Grayson's working on some cloaking tech I want to start using on Hyperion snipers when it's done. <laughs> Just imagine it. They take position, turn invisible, and then <clears throat> bad guys literally have no idea what hit them. I mean, you know, they're, they're probably going to assume it was a bullet because there'd be a bullet hole in them, but whatever. That's the stalker who ate my key card. Kill him! straight to Jack's office so we can lower the Helios defenses.
Let me uncloak the exit. Is that a portable cloaking device? Yeah, I made it out of stalker glands for Jack. Even made it look like his pocket watch. Can you give it to him? Whoops. Why am I not surprised? Man, I've got a mild case of the shivers. Thanks for rubbing it in. You know, jerks. You did great. With all the scientists rescued, we can help you get to the eye laser. I'll meet you back at Jack's. Gladstone, why does Zarpedon still have control over Helios' defenses? We shut down the jamming signal on Elpis. The Vault Hunter shouldn't even have to be saving your asses right now just so you can lower the shields. No offense. Ah, uh, Zarpedon might have a weaker signal jammer on her person. She could have another mole in Helios, like the Merif. Or she probably just manually rewired the security system. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There might be another traitor on Helios? That's only one possibility. I... Jack? Jack, you there? Nina keep you alive. Do not die, you good for business. When you think murder, it's a Marcus Mutation. Lovely. Pleasure doing business. I'm sure we'll be doing this again. Well. Roland. Ro and I just fought our way across the other side of Helios. Hope you guys didn't have all the fun on this end. The scientists just shut down the defenses leading to the laser. Got one last thing to wrap up before I send you off, though. Let's talk. Oh, hey, cool. Cloaking device, huh? Thanks, Doc. Still alive, thanks to you. Much obliged. No, you are great. You're great. You guys disabled the defenses leading to the big-ass laser. Uh, we're gonna head off and shut it down, but I'm gonna summon my personal escape ship to get you guys the hell out of here. Vault Hunter, uh, hit that button over there. And where is... Ah, here we go. Airlock sealed. Preparing to vent contents of airlock. What? New plan, everybody. Dr. Gladstone here informed me that one of you might still be a traitor working for Zarpadon. Mike, I said Mike. Hundreds of innocent lives are on the line here, kiddos. I just can't take the risk. Shoot me in the back once, shame on you. Shoot me in the back twice. For what it's worth, I am really sorry. <laughs> Jack. Huh, oh, that felt kind of good. And you? Uh, let's talk. Ah, <clears throat> uh, the path to the Eye of Helios is open. Get through the inner hall and open that fast travel network so I can shut her down. Uh, Roland, Lilith, you stay here, defend my office. I need to retreat here later. Sounds like a plan. Roland, he just murdered... Sounds like a plan. We'll see you when you get back. You know, if I hadn't airlocked those scientists, one of them might have turned those defenses back on just as you were walking through. What if I'd you like a skag steak? Think on that. Don't gotta explain yourself to me. I thought it was a smart move. Hey, so, uh, I did some spying on you guys. Like, friendly spying, not creepy spying. And those files are in the central terminal. Just in case any of those doll bastards survive this, I don't want them coming after you. So, go find them. You're my kind of guy, Wilhelm. Just get to the other end of the inner hall and we can shut down the Eye of Helios. Hey, my favorite fault. I, I put a request into R&D to get you some super cool experimental weaponry, but they're telling me there's a hold up with their computer system. You want to go check it out? Hey! Stand his logic, but 
After this job is finished, I'm done. The airlock, you still worked with Jack, as did you. Pandora had to be saved, regardless of how horrifying Jack's decision might have been. Angel, pull up whatever we got on Athena. Uh, this is Knox. Today at 0300 hours, Lance Assassin Athena went AWOL. Killing nine and a half Crimson Lance soldiers in the process. One of them got cut in two. Vertically. He's alive, but he's got a hop in there. Anyway, I guess this wasn't psyched about the Atlas High Command duping her into murdering her sister. Which, uh, great idea was. If you want to kill somebody, you hire someone who doesn't give a rat's ass about the job. Regardless, she escaped. Then he she'll come back one day and kill her ass. Knocks out. Why is it all not? Shaking that dust. who murdered their way into positions of power. The cities were one step above bandit camps. Oh, so she's like a, a bandit that kills other bandits? Nice. Is she, uh, seeing anybody? Sounds like Vault Hunter material to me. All right, let's turn them on. Hello, Traveler! Ready to dance? No, shut it off! Shut it off! How am I supposed to create an all-powerful robot soldier when it won't stop dancing? You're fighting against its basic programming. You need to work with his idiocy, not against it. That's actually Get out of the way! Thanks, baby. Love ya. He should have destroyed that thing when he had the chance. under the sun and has a kill count on par with the population of a small country. Sounds like just what we're looking for. Any downsides? He was born with a very mild case of bone waste, which means he's had a lot of skeletal implants. Subsequently, he may have gotten addicted to cybernetic enhancements. He's addicted to surgically shoving metal into his body. Yes. He'd be a good hire, but you'd run the risk of him being more machine than man after several years of service. Frankly, Angel... That sounds totally awesome. Sign I've never been one for cyber enhancements. Machines can fail. Swords can't. Great. Now Zarpadon's men won't be able to track you once this is all over. Head back whenever. <laughs> Chairman Fazitor with 
like to remind you. Roger, acquiring books. My shield will not fail me. An anthology of classic literature. This'll do. saying the stuff about booty salads. That was awesome. Oh, you know what? Do I say booty souffle. That's way better. Am I right? Uh, why is the voice in my head saying booty souffle? <laughs> I'm so glad we hired you. Just turn in the mission, Vault Hunter. When you think murder, think Marcus Munition. Uh, 
Who is this? Give me your rank and serial number. Screw it. Yay! I like, I like you. you. All troops converge on the detention center. We have a breakout. So long as Jack receives it, I won't have died in vain. Again for oh god! I just realized how close I came to dying. Ah! Oh, I'm hyperventilating. Uh, somebody hold me. Let's have a look. No. It's been forever, and I still haven't gotten a reply from Jack. Maybe he needs to know I'm for reals. Oh oh! Go find some paint and give it to a claptrap unit. I have an idea. There should be some paint in the Claptrap servicing station. Great! Now, give that paint to a Claptrap and ask it to draw an image of my adoration. A testament to the man who brought me here. Yellow's his favorite. Uh, there's an employee up here named Dean. Dude's got some anger problems, and I'll bet the moon douchebags aren't improving that. I uh, locked his ass in a closet somewhere around here. Find him and calm him down, will you, before he decides to join the Lost Legion or something? Here's a list of things I don't like. People, movies, kissing, being stuck in this closet. I complain about casting decisions for movies I haven't seen yet. Just talk to him, see if he can get him to calm down. When I'm not good at video games, I take out my anger on people around me. I am easily upset. If we are playing a board game and you start winning, I will friggin' cut you. Jack wants you to calm down. Jack is really good looking, and that makes me feel less good looking, and that makes me angry! I don't know. There's gotta be some way to cool that guy off. No! Jack left me here and doesn't pay very well. And now you will suffer my verbal wrath! I hate books! I don't like most things! If someone likes- Don't worry, I'm cool. Guess who has the best idea in history? It's me. it's me. I'm going to take Jack's personality and back it up in a computer. Get to my survey terminal and ask Jack some questions. Jack, sir, uh, would you have time for a few questions? Trying to save the world, creepy guy. But uh, I will make you immortal! Uh, yeah. All right. That sounds cool. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 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 
many questions as you want for that survey term, and I'll find out about the answers to attack artificial intelligence. <laughs> Jack, why are you the best? Um, uh, yes? <laughs> Do you have a family? A wife? Children? Next question. Describe your childhood. Dad died pretty early, mom pawned me off on her mom, spent most of my time coding or getting smacked around, had a cat, grandma drowned it because it didn't make my bed. The usual stuff. Huh. How would you like to die? I don't know, somewhere warm with a sexy chick nearby maybe. Wait, wait, wait a second, aren't I supposed to not die? Because this thing's going to make me, you know, immortal? Digitally, your memories and personality will be saved on a hard drive to be activated upon your death. Digital, that's the diet soda of immortalities. Board now, interview over. All right, compiling the data now. Just gotta plug Jack's answers into an AI, then give it sentience. I am Robo Jack. All humans must die. Oh, cool. Sexy, evil computer version of me. That's pretty neat, Nakajama. Kill, kill, kill. Robojack, Robojack, say, I'm going to jack you up. <laughs> Just like that. No. No. <laughs> That's so good. That's something I would totally say. I would. I am handsome and you will die. So. Looks like it could use another view of vision. Well, I, I think the AI jack, jack might, might not be, be such, bad such a bad idea. <sighs> oh, oh man, if, if I could clone a body for Jack, I could put the thing in the thing and it would be... Jack, I am so smart! Hey! germs must be obliterated. My robotic cleaning crew is missing. Go create messes so my three crewmen will reveal themselves. This refuse infuriates me, but it is necessary. Mess detected. That is one bot collected. We are ever closer to Germ Armageddon. Germ widows will cry over their germ husbands' corpses. Now, make another mess to collect more bots. Shoot the pipe to release the water. Just look at that. Someone could slip and crack their head and blood would shoot up and stain things. I am livid at the ruckus you have caused. A bot will be by shortly. Capture it. Mess detected. When the germpocalypse begins, we will smother the germs in their cribs. So, oh, welcome to the access tunnels. Had to shut them down a while back because of some sort of viral infection. Oh, <laughs> look how dirty it is! It's spreading everywhere! This is horrible! Mess detected! Were this any other situation, I would murder your family for that. You're insane, bot. Return the bots to me immediately, or risk an ammonia enema, you sack of germs. Whatever you want, Jackass. Watch your tongue, or I will clean it with battery acid. Thank you. Clean again begins. The germs will be cleansed in fire and soap. None shall be spared. Trap near Jack's office. After the robot makes the painting, Jack will walk by it every day. Look at these schmucks while you're waiting their digital lives at a computer. Ha! Thank the almighty robot policeman. I'm not stuck at a desk like these jokers. That one, he's not busy. He can create my masterpiece. 
Uh, Nakayama wants you to draw something that shows how much he likes Jack. Aww, I wanted to dance! Who knew I could paint as well as I could dance? What the hell is Claptrap painting? It looks like a skag dry humping a vending machine. Nice color, though. I'll get it washed off later. Uh, he doesn't understand. Let's send him some flowers. Go find a few I've planted around the station. You are Don't worry. I'm so pissed right now. To these mm, blood orchids. They symbolize. All right, that's all of the flowers we'll need. Just leave them outside of Jack's office. Wonderful. He'll have to acknowledge those. He can't miss them. He'll finally notice me. Fire hazard. Flowers blocking entrance to office. Please immolate flowers to prevent fire hazard. What? No. been defacing my station. Show yourself! It's me, sir. Professor Nakayama. I'm the G... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. You're pissing me off with your weird hijinks, Nakitiyama. Cut it out or I'll have you force-fed into a weapon grinder. Freaking jackass. Did you hear that? He almost pronounced my name correctly. I did it! Jack and I, Jack and I will be together forever! You have my pity. I... Sorry, I skipped lunch. I've shut down the trash compactor's hourly crushing. You'll be fine, so long as nobody tosses it in your trash. Whoops. <laughs> Did you fall? Probably should have warned you. <laughs> there she is! Call her! Sealed up! Identify yourself or I will continue to be terrified! It's Athena! Sorry, I almost killed you. <laughs> Friends? No! system, but I need your help. I need a bunch of crap. Go get it. Let's do this. Believe in your dreams. Woo! Let's learn some stuff! Kill one of those torque things and give me its brain. Gonna use that for the guidance system on the rocket. Go to work, yeah! I was thinking we could bake cookies for everyone. The only baking would be the 
corpses of this bird by my heavenly laser glass. The cookies will be made of agony and blood. I prefer chocolate chip, but that's me. Ah, that figures. Looks like those two clap traps are slowing down production. Now figure out what their deal is. What's going on here? I need weaponry, and you two are holding up production. I would love to make you a new weapon, but my colleague and I cannot agree. S s s s silence, insect! How can a reckless bucket of servos and idiocy, idiocy, understand what truly makes a weapon? Can you even hope to compare to my understanding of destruction? Hyperion used to manufacture all kinds of claptrap personalities, you know, mean ones, irritating ones, sassy ones, irritating ones. I built those two with the peaceful warrior and sexy megalomaniac presets. Thought they'd work together and create some really wild stuff, but, uh, guess I was wrong. you deactivate one of the two claptraps back in the weapons lab. Head back and shut down whichever claptraps weapon interests you the least, I guess. I'm afraid I can't do that. Plop the restraining bolt on one of them. Should shut them down temporarily. Please do not restrain me, Jack. My snowball today has so much to give. Destroy, destroy him, and my perfect laser shall be yours, yours. How dare, dare, dare you insect my omnipotence? Unfortunate, and yet necessary. I have the snowball grenade. It is a great deal of fun. Well, one less cloud trap in the world, right? Most agreeable. Job for you. I, uh, God, it's stuffy in here. Let me, Let me crack a window. window. 
I should probably close that window. Pressure normalized. That was awesome! Come by, I'll pay you for that. I don't even care. That was eventful. <laughs> Tentacle? Oh, yeah, you like that? Got it from Pandora after a while. It is classified, but yeah, 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 pretty awesome. for whatever you unleash. Do not put our space station at risk. Ah, screw those guys. Open up the thingy. Please input authentication code. Authenticator code can be found elsewhere on the R&D level. Warning, the authentication code changes on a regular timer. Find the code, then quickly punch it in. Just shoot the dials to input the combination. That wasn't so difficult. I cloned this monstrosity myself. It is a perfect replica of the creature that terrorized Pandora. The Destroyer! And the last thing? Not super good at math. Oh, for the love of... You just kill this stupid thing, will ya? Alright, alright, alright! Put the wings and lube on that empty rocket chassis! Vacuums! We all learned stuff today! Super solid! Now slap some lube on there and bing bang boom rocket science learning!
dumb. Bring me a soldier brain. Just go kill one of those doll guys and take their mind! <laughs> Actually, a scientist, are you? Yeah! We did it! Screw my house! Science! Science! Let, me give, you Let me give you a reward! What if dogs could talk? tunnels. Had to shut them down a while back because of some sort of viral infection. I I'm sure you'll be fine, though. Just don't, you know, inhale. Come on! Come on! These tunnels would have housed a high-speed shuttle system if we hadn't have stopped construction. of the station suffered some sort of infection a couple of months back. Got locked off from the rest of Helios. The workers may have gone a little, uh, cannibalish. Call them boils. 
animals, whatever. Angry bastards really dig eating people. Keep your distance. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Thanks Charge! for the stretch. Target lost. We are happy birthday submit. Repeat, we are happy birthday submit. Welcome to the maintenance area. It's not done yet. The central complex is occupied by a doll, but it's the only open route to the eye. I'll mark the entrance for you on your map. I'm turning on some worker bots to help you out. Just follow the worker bots. They'll lead you out of the hall. <laughs> Central maintenance. You're gonna have to fight your way through.
and try to blow us and keep going. No way! Watch one of those Legion defenses. You're almost out of here. I got your back. We got a bit interesting there. Thanks. Aviator's got a shield! What now? Uh, we need to get to the laser some other way. Um... Okay, what about this? If we set off a chain reaction in the plasma conduits, it'll blow a hole in the station and you can climb through to reach the laser. You'll have to destroy the plasma regulators. Find them and break them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did I hear you right? Blow a hole in the station? What are you... Yeah, that sounds crazy irresponsible, huh? You should probably fire me. Oh, wait! Experience some explosive decompression. Try not to get sucked out of oh, space. That's one down. Kill the other one and I can blow some stuff up. Distance, signal me and I'll blow open a path to the laser. Where do you 
fun to mess stuff up with reckless abandon, gotta say. The path's clear now. Get to the laser. <clears throat> Center, sugar. You might be able to shut the laser down from there. Hey, I need to test the loaders, so I've just got a few hiding around as maintenance spots. Ignore them. I'm always happy to take your mind. <laughs> uploaded the gun program to the hidden loaders. Feel free to activate a few to test it out. Follow me, we got a world to save. It's dark in here. I can fix that. There she is. The Eye of Helios. Weapon of weapons. A laser powerful enough to crack the moon. What power is it? Oh, it's just, you know, stuff, usual, bit normal. You know, let's just let it shut it down. Let's shut it down. Okay, inside the laser is a core reactor that makes it all work. Log on to the control systems and try to shut it down remotely. Remote shutdown failed. Systems lockout. Zarpadon locked you out? Sounds like you'll need to shut it down the old-fashioned way. With your hands. Ah, oh, for... she's right. Get over here. You gotta get down to the laser core and shut her down manually. Good luck. Vault Hunters, some of Zarpadon's information runners have evidence I can use to get your employer fired once this fiasco is over. I need you to get that evidence for me. No. You'll do it, or I'll kill whichever members of your family Atlas didn't already force you to murder. Fine. Then we're decided. There should be a doll courier nearby. Find him, kill him, and take the evidence he was going to archive. You can tell couriers apart by their bright red armor. So, you survived your little trip in the Moonshot Cannon, which got me to thinking, what if we just used that thing to send everybody everywhere? That'd be freaking sweet, right? I am gonna need more test data, though. One of Zarpanon's soldiers wants to defect to our side, so... Why don't you convince him to go for a ride in the Moonshot Cannon? There's a lucky winner. Ask him if he'd be up for trying out a Moonshot ride. Would you like to be shot out of a cannon at several hundred miles per hour? Uh, no. 
All right, fair enough. I guess when you put it that way, it does sound like a stupid-ass idea. But just find a way to get him into the moonshot shell. I don't care how you do it. Does this button do something? Holy crap, pizza party! Now, just to destruct my experimental guidance system onto the shell, it'll override the default navigation and uh, let me run some tests. All right, now follow the container upstairs. Make sure nothing happens to it. Be careful the guidance thingy stays in one piece, or who knows where this thing'll end up. Lie to me! This pizza isn't even real! Nobody lies to me about pizza! Nobody! This is Private Pharaoh, requesting extraction at the Moonshot facility! I have been captured by Jack's Vault Hunters! Vault Hunters? All units, converge on that location! Ah, uh, crap, the little dork asked for help. Just protect the guidance no, system while the container gets going into the Moonshot. Oh, they're shooting the guidance system. No big deal. They break it, but just so you know, the dude will probably die. You know. Protect that guidance node. They're hitting the guidance system. Surface. See if the dude made it through. because you like pizza. <laughs> Makes you think, though. Or something. I don't know, I just felt like saying something. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe we should have used the robots. 
So that doll dude we put into the moonshot cannon is probably super dead. But what if we use loaders instead? I could send them anywhere, anytime, and they could, I don't know, hit things with their fork arms, whatever robots do. I need you to roll out some loaders and get them into the moonshot. survive the moonshot, they'll fight alongside you on the moon's surface. God, can you imagine it? Armies of robot soldiers just killing bandits left and right. It's gonna be sweet. They're doing something with the loaders. Blow them apart! Same deal as last time. Just get them to the moonshot cannon and make sure they don't get blown to hell. something. God, that is so cool. All right, what do we got? Did the loaders make it down there? Status update. We are not dead. Moonshot transport successful. Come on back, one abs. I think we could be onto something here.
set up an orbital space station surrounding Elpis. The lead engineer, a man named Jack, has convinced his superiors that Pandora is a gold mine. How does he know? Must investigate Fred. Perfect! That's just what I need to convince the board to get rid of Jack. Find me more echoes just like that. Jack's bow hunters are targeting the couriers! I need more armor and better weapons on these guys now! It's your come back with dying. In the best quality, you can surveying crew from Helios. Something will have to be done. It is clear that this man is well-funded, determined, and worst of all, ambitious. She forgot, do she? Still need more, keep at it. All couriers, if you see one of Jack's bolt hunters, immediately report to a safe room and await reinforcements! Safe rooms? I don't have time for that crap. Kill the couriers quick before they can run into some place defending. of unimaginable power. Because of Hyperion's greed, because of their ignorance, we will do what needs to be done. Tonight, we take Helios. Pandora's moon will fall. Great. Get to the bounty board and upload what you found. Once this is all over, Jack will be lucky to get out of Hyperion with anything less than a sucking chest wound. These aren't very incriminating. Shut up. What do you know? Bring them back. A fantastic day for capitalism. You're my millionth customer. Don't let it go to your head. Remember, we're always open. Hey, I've been tinkering with a new AI routine for our loader buddies. Need to test it out, though. Go ahead and find me a robot and get it to a recharge station so I can upload the new hotness. There's one. Just send him to a charging station so I can completely destroy his personality and give him a new one. But like, you know, not in an evil way. Coming to charging station. Alright, just follow him and make sure he gets there safe. Yeah. <laughs> 
basic aggression. Uploading as new AI? Downloading new AI. All soldiers will be Dragon figures. Just, Just protect, protect him until it's done. in the system so I can just tweak the code. All the bots in the area should have a less stupid version of that program. Go activate a few and they should do something awesome. Bye, Jack. Your days are numbered. Jack, did you just submit a request for a patent on exploding suicidal robots? What the hell are you thinking? That it'd be awesome. reactor nearby feeding power to the force field. If you can disrupt it, the field should come down. Alright, that's an HY-26 mini fusion reactor. To disable it, you'll need to damage the blue coolant, not the red thermal charges. Prince, looks like there are three more of those babies. Two of them just need a little love tap and you'll be able to get to the eye and shut it down.
timing you've got there, sugar. I've got your back, Wilhelm. Start draining power from the force field. Careful, though. I got a hunch things might get messy. Take anything! Force field power draining. All right, just hold on. This reactor holds a huge charge. Once it's drained, the field will come down. You will never reach the laser core! Soldiers, kill! It's powering down. Just hold your ground until it's off, and don't let them power it back up! This is taking forever. Lilith, roll it! The surge relays must be supplying power to the reactor. Take them out. No idea what that means, but we'll start shooting stuff.
completed. Force field disabled. The way to the laser is open. I'm coming down. <laughs> the laser core awaits. Let's get going. You're kidding me. It's an electrical conversion. It doesn't matter. Just wait for the laser to fire before you run through. It'll momentarily drain the power and stop all the electricity. Wait for it. Now, go! Oh, man, I hate that game. Just the laser didn't need it. Or that they hadn't built it like an enormous death trap. Oh, and of course it's locked from the other side. Thanks, Sarpedon. We're gonna have to take the long way around. Let's hit the elevator and go topside.
You can't... Wait, 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 wait. You've seen inside it? The vault's open? You must turn back. The power within the vault would trigger a chain of events... Board. The vault's already open, huh? Cool. Now let's deal with that laser core. when it's firing. For obvious reasons. And this is where the magic happens. What the hell is that? This is what makes the eye of Helios work. It's the core of the entire weapon. How could this thing even generate that much power? Come over here, I'll show you. <laughs> Once we get this baby back under our control, it could wipe out entire bandit camps. Zero friendly casualties. Sounds pretty great, right? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> there she is. Hey, Pumpkin, you in there? What the hell is that? The Eye of Helios. Well, it's actually the Eye of the Destroyer creature. It came out of the ball, but I attached it to my laser to increase its power tenfold. Because <laughs> I'm awesome. Use the Destroyer's Eye as a weapon? It was a weapon already. All the Iridian remnants are. I just figured out how to use it. Anyway, how do we shut this thing down? Carefully. Even ignoring the weird-ass eye, this type of reactor is highly volatile. You're feeding it something that amplifies its power, aren't you? Oh, uh, runoff from the Iridium refinement process. Some of the scientists call it slag. All right. Do exactly as I say, and everything will be fine. Switch three of the flow sequencers to their prime position and reverse the power differential. Uh... Press the thingy until you see purple, then press the thingy again. Roger. Moxie, you, uh, sure about this? Something going on with the eye? And Mox, I only juice the eye with a little bit of slag at a time. Are you sure that... It won't hurt the eyeball. Trust me, sugar. Uh, Moxie, the eye's freaking out. With this slag stuff is powering the laser, we need to force as much of it as we can back into the eye. The increased power will trip a failsafe and let us shut everything down. The eyeball may not like it, but it'll be fine, honey. Just like I said. With that failsafe tripped, we can reboot and then the laser will be all yours. Wait! Don't press that button! What's wrong? If the eye starts acting weird again during the reboot, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Thanks to the failsafes, it couldn't possibly do anything other than shut down. Eh, yeah, we'll agree to disagree. All right, let's get back to the command center. With Zarpa not dead, we can reboot the laser remotely from there.
Alrighty, the bad guy's dead. We're about to save the moon, and the vault full of cool ass alien stuff is apparently already open. Just shut down the laser, and we can get to the fun part finding that vault. I'll let you do the honors. Reboot sequence activated. Command control reset. Rebooting in five, four, three, two. Shutdown aborted. Invalid energy configuration. Oh, great. What now? Jack. I'm sorry. I'm not. Warning. Singularity detected. Whoa! What the hell? Good job, everybody. What, Moxie? What the hell are you doing? Betraying you. Trying to kill you. Two things I should have done a long time ago, you power-hungry psychopath. What do you mean, Moxie? How did you even... I've been watching you, Jack. And behind that smile, behind that hero complex, there's something wrong about you. If you come down from Helios alive, a lot of decent people will live to regret it. No, 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 no! Damn it, I trusted you, Moxie! Do you know what you've done? You've just killed us all! Bye-bye, sugar. Done and dusted. In time. We'll deal with them all in time. But for now, we just need to get to that vault before they do. Dumb bastards probably want to destroy what's in there. Zarpadon said a tangle of chemical fill. She mean Dahl's old back of Burke refinery site? Get back to the moon's surface and check it out. There's gotta be something there that'll lead us to the vault. What's going on up there, John? The readings we've got... Shut the hell up! Tassadar, shut the hell up! My ex-girlfriend and her two BFFs just tried to kill me, and the last thing I need right now is your senile ass whining in my ear. If I get one more message from you that isn't, out of boy, Jack, or I'm sending you a big bag of money, and I'm gonna reach through my echo communicator and got your eyes out with my pinkies! <clears throat> Are we clear? I... Goodbye, John. Bye. Thank you for calling. The area. Athena, I saw the laser go. My dear lady, I owe you a drink. No arguments. Maybe later. Right now, I've got a job to finish. After surviving your attempt on our lives, we headed to Zarpadon's refinery site to look for the vault. Why? You'd already saved the moon. Why not just leave? I was hired to find a vault. I don't leave jobs half-finished. That and Lilith attempted to murder me. If she wanted the vault, I wanted to stop her. Yeah, sorry I tried to kill you. No, you're not. No, I'm not. So Moxie tried to kill Jack? She never told me that. She's got layers, like an onion made of boobs. Moxie plays her cards pretty close to the chest. Which is saying something given her cup size. No, 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 we can, we can fix this. The Destroyer's Eye hasn't been completely destroyed. Just go get the rest of the chunks of the iris and we can rebuild it. Go! Go! Found part of the iris. It doesn't look good. Thank you for your opinion. Now keep going. Hyperion enemies in range! Hey!
All right, that should be enough. Now get to R and D and reconstruct the iris. I don't think. Just do it. Don't think. Don't doubt. Just freaking do it. All right, now head to one of the bio labs. You're gonna reconstruct the eye, and we're gonna run a test on it. All right? This will work. I know it. <laughs> Now find a petri dish or something and combine the pieces of the eye you found. <laughs> There should be one nearby. The scientists have to kill their own creations a lot more than you'd think. with the voice modulator implants. Now that you've signed these forms, for the next 20 years, you'll be Jack. Jeez. Uh, when do I get paid? Soon. Report to medical chamber seven. Experiment commentary day four. Visual transformation complete and all records deleted. Timothy Lawrence, at least on paper, no longer exists. And neither do his secrets. Jack will be very, very pleased. No, I will never forgive them for this. Never. Things that can be done with a Hey, expendable moron. We're ready to resume construction on the inner hull, but the workers are whining about some sort of viral outbreak or something. Need you to get inside the quarantine section and see if this infestation thing is the real deal. <laughs> is blocked off. You'll need to get to the maintenance tunnels and release some worker bots to open the way. If you turn up to the task, I'm not hopeful. All you'll have to do is push a few buttons. This will be so easy my brain-dead nephew could do it. And his favorite echo show is the big explosion hypothesis. Sure you'll find a way to screw it up, though. The first button activates the Atmo failsafe. That's so if you die, we can send someone who isn't an idiot to do it correctly. The second button seals the doors, preventing you from jeopardizing the rest of the station and using up their oxygen. Breathing's a privilege, not a right. The third button will open access doors to the superstructure. It'll also vent all the ammo, which means you won't have much time to release the bots before the failsafe kicks in and resets everything. Or you suffocate. The latter will be more fun. Finally, to bring the atmosphere back, you'll need to turn on the force field for each access portal and seal the air inside. You get all that? Or did I use too many syllables? Get to work.
know I'm not paying you by the hour, right? Is this done, or are you just trying to keep my expectations low? And show me this hasn't been a spectacular waste of time. Push 
Crushing Automaton and remove the lockdown. I'll have more work for you later, if you don't choke to death on your own saliva. Meantime, one of those workers seems slightly less homicidal than the others. Maybe you should talk to him and possibly get stabbed in the throat. <laughs> That'd be funny. Quirkus, I released the infection from Mrs. Zarpatai. She told me I had to stop everything, keep the fall safe. I'm so sorry. I need you to rescue some of my friends. Freeze them. Freeze the infection. Bring them back here. <laughs> I have a freeze-easy for you if you want to borrow it! Take it, take it! Let me lead you to my friends! I lock them up until I can make them better! Better! Pretties. What shall we learn today? Jumping through flaming hoops? Tightrope walking? Brain burrowing? Just kidding. That's it. Stop the infection. Pop the pestilence. Help.
said it was for the good of everyone. That only her infection could save the vault. I'm sorry, my pretties, but I must let you go. For all our sakes. Be free, my beautiful buglets. Prance away into the night. Don't forget me. Hey! does exist, and it's driven the whole workers insane. How interesting. Hello, idiot. One of my lackeys had an idea which I've decided to improve. I need you to collect a laser drill, a control interface, and a sensor array. Don't ask me why. Just accept that I'm smarter than you, and I know what I'm doing. Head to the veins of Helio to get started.
laser drill will do something, I'm told. interface will allow these robots to think a power that not everyone in this conversation possesses. Find one. You made it. surprised and nauseated. Get to the supply platform to protect that delivery. Scan those parts into the bot fabrication machine. It's in central maintenance. soldier, and in so doing, keep investor confidence high. I tell you this only so I can enjoy the dull drone of your brain cells as they try to comprehend the number of syllables I'm using. You are very rude. so my men can pick him up later. I'm sure that's patchable. Hell with it. I'm, I'm destroying this thing. thing. in the first place, so please 
please return to the bounty board for your reward. <laughs> Assholes. The board, for whatever reason, has decided to allocate some supplies for you. They've bought some loot from a Pandoran arms dealer, which is being shipped to Helios now. Oh, well, that's just beautiful. The board's on my side. Vault hunters, get to the turrets and defend those arms shipments. sent you some supplies. The supply container is stuck in the space junk. Make sure it doesn't get blown up, ingrate. Just go ahead and bring out a worker bot and defend it while it falls in the shipping container. Get on that turret and protect the worker bot while a bunch of debris in the bot's way. Better clear it out. All fighters spotted. Destroy them. Shipment is being bot path obstructed. Please clear path. Further tall patrols incoming. on my side. You know, apart from the fact that tons of people died, uh, today is just awesome. The 
mustard-filled Caesar selling off scene round here in a Harold Maud's age, and I do mean that as a compliment. I'm sure round one won't change a persnickety word order like you, but pistol whip the training area anyway. Um, what? Get your pen pals to the training area! <laughs> <laughs>
stop your grinning and cuddle your women. You know where to go. Get there on the double. Baboons, boons, boons! <clears throat> now we're getting somewhere, cadet. You showed me a really balanced deck out there. Now it gets more serious, though. Better buy another corset. Thanks for the air support, Wilhelm. I could rustle up on such short notice. Warning, no atmosphere detected. 
detected. You think a skull arm and a chip on your salsa will let you forgive all the amenities? I think I've come this far, and I don't... Hold up. I'll handle this. I'm gonna rip out your guts and let little napkins decorate the room with them. Here's how it is you search that site for a way into the vault. We go there. We get what's inside it, and we use it to kill Lilith, Roland, and all those sons of bitches. Once I'm even with those two, you won't see me again. Enemy contact! Get up! Little Rathic told me you're on your way inside the moon! That's wicked! If you see anything you think's valuable, grab it for me, eh? And be careful, won't you? You got big place and need to worry. Watch self and use plenty in the medicine. I see you soon, yes? 
До свидания. Day 24. The refinery work took longer than the engineers estimated. Extracting the methane has exposed a deep shaft that the scientists on site say looks to be of Iridian origins. Now engineers are reporting seismic activity they think is linked to draining the methane. If we can get out first light, it won't be a moment too soon. G'day, so I was mucking about just playing a bit of snicket. This game that makes no sense. It's all the rage around here, and I hit my ball over there. Don't suppose you feel like feeling it for me, do you? I go, only I think it's against the rules. I'm supposed to run up and down on the spot, jump now's that or something. I'll send the rough coordinates to your echo. It's somewhere around there. I'm gonna leave you to it while I try and keep track of the score. And believe me, between the two of us, you've got it easy. Danger, air reserve depleted, maggot. Need air. <laughs> Here they come, mate. They got a hell of an attack. They got quicks with a lot of puff. So, since Sarpachik is dead, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some loaders your way. Moonshot's pinpointing you right now. Try not to be standing under the supply fire. You don't want to do that. Why are these assholes still fighting? Their leader's history. Why not kick back, take a break, go see the sights? Yeah, never mind, we'll wipe them out soon enough. <laughs> That'll be a sight. Oh, oh yeah, what? So you're heading into some kind of super secret alien cave or something? Sounds kind of fun. Take some pickers if you can, don't drink the water, and don't eat anything nasty. Ah, you. Not in that order. Yeah, I think that's everything. One more. Some help over here. Warning, <laughs> oxygen levels at half. Century, whatever that is, and we either won or lost or drew or tied. Plus, we got three second maidens back in the pavilion. Oh, mate, I bloody love this game. Just needs a few rule changes so it makes completely and utterly no sense at all, and it'll be ruddy perfect. As a token of my esteem, I'd like to award you with membership of my snicker club. Warning, zero at the Warning, air reserves at 50%. This was a terrible idea. Murder Warrior Lady, thank goodness. My friend and I have been sent by our mistress to deliver a message of vital importance to Toby Banner Durban. Our craft is much stronger, however, and we need an escort to ensure our safe passage. Not that kind of passage. We can help us. Help us. Will you help us? Wonderful. You will be suitably paid, of course. I cannot stress how vital our mission is.
Sharks are really just out of body line. the last of it up just now. What's that? She found the other two bottles just before we left, and this whole trip was for nothing? I... I... Well, it got us out of the ship, I suppose. This is terribly embarrassing, but we can't pay you. Yes, I couldn't agree more. How rude. In that case, I have something for your trouble. Shoot it, I said! Then 
to chat a hand, will you? I'm Captain Chef, and I've just discovered this move. It's imperative I lay claim to it before anyone else does. Oh, you look oddly familiar. Anyway, I brought the flag. King Craig adores it when you plant a flag. But royal protocol requires me to stand to attention and salute whilst it's being raised. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to manage it. So if you can just retrieve it from my case and hoist the thing for me, I'll stand here and King Greg gets himself another colony. He is especially partial to colonies. <laughs> Get my flagpoles just over here. I should warn you, these Johnny Foreigner types can be a little sensitive when you discover them. That's it. Now start hoisting as I salute. Don't be shy. Hoist away. There she is, in all her glory. I just have to stand to attention and salute until she reaches the top. Oh, on the off chance any of the locals should... Ah, yes, it does seem something of a theme. Be a sport, will you, and fight them off until the flag's raised? As soon as she's there, I'm right with you, side by side in the trenches. <laughs> relief. Even my prodigious salute muscles were beginning to quiver beneath the titanic strain. Oh, you seem to have made rather a mess. Not to worry, these things tend to clear themselves up in the end. Well, mustn't loiter. There are plenty of other undiscovered places eager to be civilized. Cheerio! Warning, air reserves at 50%. Thank you. 
this time the board is behind me. You've been terminated. Say one more word to me, and I will make your death slow. What are you? That was three. I'll be seeing you soon. All right, that's good. Now see where that takes you. Now see where that takes you. I surrender! I give up! Of course he does. Now kill him. Why? <laughs> What difference does it make? I'm gonna get rid of them all eventually. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, what the hell? Don't let them live! Looks like that, right there, is the way in.
something. I mean, who wouldn't want a piece of whatever's in that vault? Or all of it.
How deep does this Iridian stuff go? hunters have one chance to leave this place. I'm really hoping you don't, but... Oh, baby, you're gonna look real pretty dying. All that ego and sass just oozing out of bullet holes. How you feeling about this, Athena? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Shut up and let me work, Jack. 
I don't need to know how much you enjoy this. for your help, stranger. You're a little late, though. I was told to expect a doll soldier, but something tells me they're not coming. I haven't got time to ask too many questions. <laughs> You'll need to finish the job and deliver that echo to a girl in black waiting at the up over bar, Concordia. She knows the code to unlock that message. Think I'll rest here a while. Consider my debt paid. Lost. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for, someone. for someone, and you don't, and you look, don't look like, look like a, a Hannah. Hannah. I'm sorry I'm to sorry report, to report Hannah's, Hannah's dead. Dead? dead. That's, That's awful. awful. She, said she said she had an important package for me. me. I'm about I'm to ship about out and leave this lunar cesspit behind forever, so, so I, guess I guess I'll never know what it was. Oh, oh thanks. thanks. It's asking for a four-digit code. I only know one. I wonder. Beloved daughter. I didn't, I didn't die, die that die terrible, terrible day, day, but was, was instead, instead taken, taken by Elpis, Elpis along, along with most of my soldiers. My soldiers. There, there, entombed beneath, beneath the ground, ground I, found I found a higher calling. Every, Every day, day I wonder if giving you up was the right, right choice. choice. The, universe, the universe, in exchange, in exchange for, the for the one person, person I love. love. But my but actions protect, protect the universe and therefore protect you. This echoes my backup plan. I've missed watching you grow, and get the sense this mission won't be one I come back from. I'm truly sorry. Listen to your old mom one last time. Bad things are about to happen, and you must flee Elpis immediately, or you will die. Know that I was always proud of you, that I didn't want this for us, and that we'll meet again. Lock and load, honey. It's a beautiful... Terrible, terrible universe, universe out, there. out there. It's been, it's been so, so long. long. Thank, Thank you, stranger, stranger for, for so, so much. much. Here, Here, take, take this, gun. this gun. It belonged, it belonged to my to mother, mother. Colonel, Colonel Tungstina Zarbidon. And I think, I think she'd, she'd want whoever, whoever delivered her final echo recording, recording to have it. Hi, Vault Hunter. How you doing? <gasps> How are you? Let me know if anything catches your eye. Good luck.
Something following you? Getting, Getting some, some weird, weird readings, readings that, uh... Ah, yeah, forget it. It's probably not there. Let's keep moving. Yeah, yeah that was me. How would you follow him without getting noticed? I actually don't know. None of the Guardians attacked me for some reason. It was like they wanted to let me through. Left yesterday with the alien creature. It's taking her somewhere. The men should be restless. We're almost out of supplies. Most of us are covered in a purple rash in the dreams. Freaky isn't the word. Play 
Bastard, wasn't he? Nicely done. Keep an eye out for that creepy red one. I don't want to get interrupted. Wait. What? That's it? That little thing. The hell did... Oh, what kind of weapon? Oh my god! I'm gonna kill them all! Oh, first, you're gonna find me a doctor. Then we're gonna wipe those bandit bastards off the face of Pandora. And then, then we're gonna wake the warrior. The what? It's gonna be so good. We're gonna scorch the freaking planet in fire. There's gonna be screaming. Bandits are gonna die left and right. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> and that is when the hero who saved us on Helios died. That was when I left Handsome Jack's employ. You regret teaming up with Jack? Yes. Now do what you will. Kill her. What? No! If it weren't for people like her, our friends might still be alive. Ready? This ain't us, Lil. This ain't you! Fire! What the hell? Time for bickery, all touches. War is coming, and you will. Mr. Tassiter? Mr. Tassiter, are you there? Mr. Tassiter's been replaced, sweet cheeks. Starting today, you're working for me. Uh, who is. John, is that you? Call me Jack, honey. <laughs> Handsome Jack. Always comes up. Mr. Lawrence? Oh uh, yeah, that's me, Timothy. Please go through the door to your right. Your interviewer will be waiting for you. 
Do I, uh, need to sign some papers, or...? Through the door, please. No, wait, how do I know this isn't some scam to get... These are really in guardians of real tricky buttons, and my job's to round them up. I don't know why they asked me. I wanted a desk job. I'm not the outdoors type. Still, they gave me these snare grenades. Traps the fellas inside when they're wounded, if you do it right. First thing we need is one of all the guardian rakes. Let's kick off with fire. You can kill as many of the things as you like, but the blokes who sent me want a live one of each kind of Guardian Wraith. So, that's a Guardian Wraith when they've transformed into their fire, shock, corrosive, and cryo forms. I know where to go, so check your echo and stick with me. Oh, 
Oh, I got, I got your, number your number now, now mate. I know, I know your kind. I don't know, I don't know how, how you sleep, sleep at, night. at night. I hope, I you're, hope happy you're happy with what you got out of this. Maybe, Maybe it, helps it helps dull your conscience. Your conscience. <laughs> that Merv guy? I'm happy they finally turned off that enormous <laughs> laser. Ma'am, will you please stop calling me that? It's weird. I heard you were telling stories. I want to hear one. What would you like to hear? The death of Knox? The fall of New Hay? Oh, oh, never mind. I got a better idea. Tell me a story about a raid boss. I don't know what that is. What do you mean you don't? How do you not? Shush, baby, shush. Shush, 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 shush. Your big sister's got this. <laughs> then Athena and her three other pals went to the inner core of the moon. Do I have to go with friends? I can't just do it alone? Not unless you want to die, or you find a broken-ass combination of loot and you want to show off on the Echo Day. <laughs> Great to see you, mate. You got a bit of time to help with something? Oh, maybe you don't remember me. It's Sterwin. It's not too late to be a part of the solution, mate. You want to help? Beautiful creatures have copped a bad rap. They're not deadly predators. They just want to play a little, is all.
here, I reckon. We'll keep everything here. It's not as good for them as being left out in the wild, so it breaks my heart. But it's the only way to ensure this species and its subspecies survive. Thanks, mate. You must be one of the good folks. <laughs>
Turn the mission in. Pulse still racing from the thrill of the battle, but my bloodlust had not been sated. I could always go back and fight the raid boss again. Ooh, that makes no narrative sense, but I like it. Shame, I don't wanna lose